my god. Oh my, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> it's happening. Hello. Look at look at the best boy right there. It's Dog happening. Content. Guys. What's that? Welcome everybody to Ooh. Dungeon Select. Oh shit! Oh, oh. Haven't said that in a fucking while. Yeah. Woo -woo. Haven't said that in a while. Uh, we're two players oh down. Um, Koiba, don't blame him. He's watching the footy final. I blame him. I blame him. Because England. I blame him. <laughs> it's and not Soko like we're going to some, some family stuff. He's out of state right now. But uh, both should be back next week. So Yo, there's a Yankee game on right now. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. Du like, Duke knows his priorities. Koiba does not. Well, That's all. Um, if the Netherlands were playing in the final. <laughs> and also, I'm English. Okay. What do you mean, if the Netherlands were playing in the final? You wish. Is Mr. <laughs> doesn't know anything about sports? Just trying to oh, no. have a go? Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's already yeah, happening. It's, crazy. Oh, it's already oh, happening. It's crazy. Oh. Already pissing off the DM before yeah. he controls your yeah. fate. Love it. Already I did that. I, I was shit talking yesterday. And, uh, was it yesterday? I don't fucking know. You shit talk all the time. That's all you do. It's <laughs> character um, backstory talk. So he's probably going to kill off my campaign too before we get But there. regardless, we're back. Welcome to Dungeon Select, guys. Uh, not campaign two yet, as as we're all aware. Uh, we're running a, a few one shots over the next coming weeks uh, from the Explorers Guide to Wild Mount, so the the players have made separate characters for that. So these characters that they're playing right here are not the characters that are coming back uh, or won't be coming back for campaign two. Those will be completely separate. Um, but I'm excited. I'm so excited to get back into the swing of uh, weekly D and D. And uh, on this new channel, on the Dungeons Like channel, uh, its own entity, it's gonna be a good fucking time, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a ride, and I'm excited for it. Lots of lots of you know, only up from here, bright future ahead, all that nonsense. Um, but uh, before we do anything, should we uh should we just do do the reveal of the first uh the first character? Yeah. That'll be yeah. Heck yeah! You want right. to do announcements and then reveal, or reveal then uh, we'll announcement? Do, we'll do a review. I mean, reveal's announcement, right? So we'll do that first. Yeah. Okay. So first character of campaign. Wait, if you wait. if you follow the the the, the subreddits or or the Twitter, you've seen. Oh yeah. So there's this picture being tweeted out of like these 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 characters all grayed out, and uh, we're gonna reveal the art for the first character. Are we gonna announce whose it is, or are we gonna leave that till the end? Uh, like, leave, oh, him, leave, him, leave him guessing for now. Yeah. <laughs> Try and guess who's We everyone's know. Gonna, everyone's going to have to guess who's who's character is, But we're not going to tell you. Yeah. Exactly. Don't mind me, exactly. by the way. I'm just tearing notes, tearing pages out of this fucking old so, notebook, so I have a fresh start. Here is the reveal of the first character, or uh, I, I guess two characters Ooh. in a way. Um, I was like, he has a friend. He has, he, has, he has a feathered friend. Oh, the art looks so... Fucking amazing! It looks so fucking good. This artist Look fucking it. killed it. It's Look at alternate it. universe Scorpion from Mortal Kombat with Big Bird. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You get the reveal of the bird first. I fucking love Shoe Bill Storks. Like dude. everyone Hanzo, wanted. Hanzo birds, dude. Uh, Jesus Christ. What if you'd only <laughs> revealed the bird? What if that was? Yeah. Can you imagine that's fun? the character? I, I highly recommend. I highly Who's recommend as well. Guys? When when they go up, we're gonna put the individual um, art on the subreddit and probably our yes. own twitters and stuff. Make sure you guys look at them because the detail on the individual portraits yeah, when you insane. get closer. It's, it's like I, we've only all seen our own, so this is the first time some of us are seeing this ca yeah. this character. Correct. But I can only imagine up close seeing the detail oh, yeah. on the like our own how the details are they amazing. look. The so details this is, are amazing. Uh, you this, is post, this is the first um, character. Ladies and gents, yep. um, one down, on the Twitter when you post uh, when you post the we, art we on Twitter, you should do zoom ins on. Do we, get, are we gonna give out? Do we think as a group we should give out names? Yeah, I thought that was the plan, right? Okay. To give the art yeah. and the name and character but not name, the not player. player name. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait, is the fucking bird name written down somewhere? Let me quick, quickly have a look. Is the bird um, name written down? I mean, if we're, if we're gonna know. introduce character name, we gotta we gotta get the bird right. All I'm saying is. When we're out camping and we can't forage anything, and we're all starving Make the to bird death. do it. <laughs> uh, this bird? is uh, Davian Briar, if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I am. Davian? Uh, Davian. Davian, okay. Davian! Cool. And uh, Davian. his uh, feathered friend, of which Ping. I do not know the name. Um, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> That's, That's so cool. There's that. But yeah, the first character uh, of, of, of the party for campaign two. Um, I cannot wait bird. till we dress up the bird oh, as a human and try and pass oh. off this bird as a <laughs> as a human at some point for some reason. 
So, yeah. Sorry, the reservation was only for six. <laughs> mm, uh... <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's so beautiful cool. art. Uh, well, That's I'll make sure to uh, like during the break, I'll, I'll I'll throw the art on Twitter and the subreddit as well, uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll throw the individual art. Uh, yeah, on there as well. Um, and it'll be added okay. to the slideshow during the BRB and the starting soon, eventually, I'm sure. Um, when campaign two, uh, yeah, when yeah, campaign when, two yeah. happens, yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, it might be so Davian. Cool. Uh, well, I, I said Davian, and I didn't get an angry DM that I mispronounced it, so I'm assuming that I did it right. So uh, you know, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll find out. We'll find we'll out. Find out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, any announcements before we get going into this uh, first one shot yeah. um on the theme of one shots i finally got in my email today and i'm sure some other people here have the same one because we all backed the same kickstarter but we got the one shot that came with the pride dice ice cream dice kickstarter Ooh. and if no one else wants to i would love to give a shot at try my hand at dming once and we could add that to a run shot that gets one on this channel because we also want to help this channel get to affiliate we're going to need oh, yeah. a certain number of broadcast days hit to do that so i if you guys are down but it does mean those of you that have the same one shot don't read ahead maybe before you play it or you can if you can you know separate your brain in that way but... separate your brain all right um, so yeah, that might happen. I don't. I won't give a date yet because we, of course, schedule yeah, some I mean, planning. Fuck it, dude, but yeah. it'll happen. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, so yeah, with this uh, kind of being the like official, I don't know, like the official, like I don't know, opening Preview. of the channel. You know, this is when we're actually gonna start putting out, pu pushing out regular D and D content uh, from here on out every week, every weekend uh, with. Once campaign two starts, we'll also be doing dungeon discourse, and there'll be one shots. And we've been talking about possibly, maybe doing like a like a weekly slash bi weekly Baldur's Gate three playthrough on this channel as well. I know Ooh. me and Duke have been talking about that, and I know Ethan is like, Dutch, we gotta get back to Baldur's Gate three, so we'll probably get you involved in that as well. Uh, and then someone uh, else. Are you gonna kill me again? Dude, that's still a funny clip, dude. Me just fucking <laughs> dropping those rocks and you died. You literally rocks fell and you died. Oh, like, he wasn't even the DM, and he still rocks felled me. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, anyone else have any announcements before we uh, get going? It's not a, like a big announcement, but I bought some really fucking cool dice. Oh yeah. Um, I don't have any dice, so I don't. I don't bring any with me. So oh, you're all gonna cool. get virtual dice. Dude. You're you're gonna get updates on my rolls on D and D Beyond. So nice. well, it's good because it means we know you can't cheat me. True. <gasps> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no more cheating. Can, can we leave that? Can we leave that bit to die with I campaign know, one? I know. <laughs> oh, we just have to pick someone else. We just have to accuse I, someone she's else. She's the one of who made it an emote. Oh, like I did, I did make it an emote. It was a very good emote. It was a good. I don't emote. regret it. Solid. So um, every we'll leave every bit time to we die like and a, the scripted bit to die. Script every time funny. I get like a serious more than one shot character, cheating bells also fine. Uh, I christen them. Keep them with dice. And, uh, yeah, so so every time like I play a character that I expect to play for more than like a couple of weeks, I like to get a set of dice that's like their dice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to reveal the name of my campaign two character because that will spoil things when the art comes up. Mm -hmm. But these are for my campaign two character, and they're shiny. Oh, they're shiny. Can you hold beautiful. them a little closer? Can you do like the little makeup make tutorial because of my thing? Like, you do they like, look you do like, like no, you, do, you do like this. You, know, you do like you do like yeah. You do the all. beauty, the beauty influencer yeah, the thing where you use your hand fucking, to make it focus. Yeah, there you go. It won't like focus. It's not on autofocus because it's oh. a oh. 150 oh, okay. pound lens. Okay. Um, flex. Um, I'll, I'll put I'll Humble put brag. photos on. That's a heavy lens, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Uh, I'll put photos on the Reddit, but they're really fucking pretty. Uh, they look like a Loki themed dice just because of the green glowiness from the quality. They have so they're sharp edge resin dice. They're blue. They have like green uh, Maybe, filament in them. Uh, put a little picture and on they the have later. Smile. Runic. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I can link the Etsy now in chat, but yeah, I will also put a picture put a of them on the Reddit. Smile. Yeah. Link the Etsy. Join the Reddit, join the Reddit, guys. Yep. I don't have Real quick. any dice, but oh. I did get my character journal in today. Hell yeah. Nice. So that's about it. <laughs> I have. I've had my Rook and the Raven journal on standby since March. 
Hell yeah, dude. Paper blanks, yeah. baby. Wanna see I go before before we get into this. I just want everyone to know that my character name in this one shot is not Logan. I still am not sure who's to blame for that. <laughs> because it was uh, me. It was me. Bell made the overlay, and I DM'd her saying that his name is Ludwig. Yeah, but on DM, so... it's Logan. Then, so you know. Yeah, it confused me. I'm well, easily confused. Okay, this has been known for yep. a while. It's the copious amount of throw something else, on. you know. So yeah, not but, anymore. Not anymore. Smile. Okay. <laughs> this is my journal for campaign team. Ooh. It's, it's, it's like soft and like really cool texture. Yeah, it's so pretty. I feel really guilty because my parents bought me like a D and D notepad, that, and I was like, I could use that in campaign too. However, I already bought myself another leather bound yeah. journal. Oof. But you know what's really funny though is it's kind of really should have been a trim journal because I've used the first three pages, but the rest is blank as I'm going to use it because I originally bought this to be like a tea making and herbology notebook for literal just for Laura. So I have notes on the various types of tea for the first three pages. Nice. <laughs> so I wish I should have used it for trim. <laughs> That's stupid. That is this is notebook for campaign two. Ooh, Ooh shiny. Ooh, nice. That's cool. It's got a little clasp on it. It's very it's nice. real pretty. Real pretty. I can't show you any of the pages because I've already Why started writing in it. Why would you do W.H. Smith? Found some milk pads on sale and bought them. Oh, Amazon of course, Cobra goes to W.H. Smith. Walker. But, um, <laughs> if we don't have anything else to announce... I don't think so. No. I don't know. Do we? Um... Uh, I guess... I don't know. Do we? I don't know. It's been a while. Hades has been oh, heavily next, fucking. I'm gonna like, look. I'm gonna look real different next time I'm on a stream because tomorrow I get my hair redyed, including the dying white for for charity select all the way back in March oh, that y'all voted on. White? So Is that what, oh white. My God. They voted for like white. Sephiroth? I have to like like, like Daenerys Sephiroth. Yeah, just. Holy shit. Okay. I don't think. Basically, I'm leaving it to we're gonna see how much how, what we can get, and if we can't get it to really look white. We're gonna still do a part because I have to for charity, but there is a there is a good chance that a chunk most a lot of my hair will still have to be a different color and we'll just put we'll like just a big roots. white, like a white stripe or white as like we're gonna we're gonna see what we can get with my hair the way it is and what we're working with. But we're gonna try. Cause okay. y'all white roots so. and it makes you look like you're prematurely gray. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm thinking we're gonna do instead is Rogue from X Men. I'm gonna have white streaks oh, on the side yeah. of my face because the, the hair closest to my face is the palest right now. So that's probably yeah. gonna have the most success. I mean, so after campaign rogue. one, aren't we all prematurely gray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, oh, um, oh. I might look real real gray or that. real cringe next time we do another one of these one-shots. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, Both at the I same mean, you time? Can, you, can look, you can look great, but also very cringe. Like that. Yeah, They're not yes, mutually exclusive. True. <laughs> you know? My only announcement right. is that I actually stream again. That's it, really. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Also, I'm um, playing a rogue, and I have no idea how to play rogue, so be patient. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Just, all you need to do every time you make an attack is ask the DM. Do I have do advantage? Do I get a sneak attack? So, do I have advantage? If uh, that is it, I would like to uh, get going and start off uh, this one shot called Unwelcome Spirits. Taking place in a town called Urzin in uh, Jorhas. In Wildmount. You adventurers have kind of made a little bit of a name of your, uh, for yourselves, kind of traveling around, doing mercenary work, helping people out in exchange for pay. And that um, made you appear on the radar of, of um, the person in charge of Urzin. Um, you got sent a messenger, uh, a goblin who presented you with a summons to travel to Urzin and meet with... Old? Meet with uh, their champion, their leader. And that's really all the information you got, besides that you were promised uh, a handsome reward of 250 gold pieces uh, for your troubles. So naturally, being the adventurers that you are, you accepted, and went on to travel. Uh, the only thing you really do know about this this town is that it is completely built on the backs of horizon back tortoises that give the village mobility. It is a wandering village, constantly on the move through uh, a marsh. But you, you manage to narrow down uh, the the, lo the location, give or take. 
And as you uh, get close, the rank odors of the Broken Veil Marsh mingle with the musty aroma of a fleet of gargantuan reptiles as you traverse a few rickety rope bridges above Urzin. This strange goblinoid village, constantly slowly on the move through this swampy uh, Zorhesian waste. The monstrous residents of this town, mainly goblin, hobgoblin, ogre in nature, uh, will pay you, pay you little heed as you approach. That is until you approach a large ramshackled hall. Suddenly, they all, st all the villagers around you stop and turn to, to look what you're doing. And uh, in front of this hall stand two ogres, clad in some some makeshift armor, kind of kind of guarding the way. And one of them looks down to you. Business. I guess we're all just like looking around at each other, like who's. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know the most. Hey, someone else. Business. <laughs> I just, I, I seeing that there's silence. I'm just like, like, um, we were, we were summoned here to to help with a, a problem. That's that's kind of all we know. As you say that, uh, the ogre that asks you business, uh, looks at his, uh, his, his companion, and he goes inside, and you hear some, some through, through, through the door, before the door opens again, and the ogre comes back outside. Enter. And they kind of make way for you. Fucking stride in. Yeah. <laughs> Fast as my, well, dwarf legs can carry me. He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. Okay, so should we should we describe what we look like quickly? Uh, yeah, I was kind of gonna do that. Oh, now. you're gonna get. Um, I'm sorry. All right, if you okay. if you're doing that now, go for it. As you as you enter uh, the hall of Ogre Lord Bufal the Second, and present yourselves to this uh, this this ogre leader of of Urzin. What does he see? Approach him, uh, and we'll go we'll go uh, top left first. So Laura. Okay, um, a blue dragonborn, so like tall to a lot of them, because I'm assuming goblins and hobgoblins, not very tall, but average size for a dragonborn. On the leaner side, if a blue dragonborn could look pale, like obviously there's just like shades of blue, but it almost seems like the blue of her scales are kind of muted, like I guess hasn't seen the sun a lot, and has a big heavy mace uh, on her back but also lots of like paper and scrolls kind of sticking out of the pack. So it looks like menacing, but also bookish at the same time. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's me. Oh, and I'm wearing uh, plate mail, I believe. Let me just quickly check. It's something that's loud and clanky. Scale mail, that's what I'm wearing. So okay. I have scales and then scale mail, <laughs> all the scales. All right, <clears throat> Bell? Uh, he also sees a two and a half feet tall frog, um, <laughs> who is green. Froggy! I'm so excited. With, like, yellow speckles all over him. I mean, her. Whatever, she's a frog. <laughs> um. Do frogs have a much. concept of gender? She's, she's a frog. Well, no, I think they yeah. can change it based on they... the population, actually. Yeah, I think they can. By the way, frog. Oh. That's pretty much all there is to it, just frog. I sexually identify enough, as a frog. Enough. I sexually identify as a frog. Enough. Um, Duke? Uh, well, Ludwig, not Logan, smile. <laughs> About four, just under four feet tall, burly dwarf, long dark hair, long dark beard, eye patch over his right eye, clad in sort of thick kind of hand-me-down looking leather armor like it, it looks rough it looks worn um clearly like seen seen some use he's in his older years uh you know cross uh, short bow on his back sword sheathed at his sides and uh a grizzled determination on his face okay ethan um you would see a human who's about five 
seven, uh, quite skinny, uh, with a what when you first met was a shaved head that's began to grow out in some form of stubble uh, in a dark grey coat with no visible weapons, um, quite a, a gaunt face with uh, high cheekbones, a few sort of marks here and there on his arms, but tends to wear this long, almost oversized coat and remain fairly well hidden. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is just as uh, information. Uh, the two players that are missing right now, their characters aren't physically here either. They're taking care of other business, and they'll just join in, you know, having done dealt with their business uh, next week. Yeah. Um, they're Ashley Johnsoning us. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're not playing as if they are here. Just, just to make yeah. that make that clear. Um, okay. So you enter the hall of the ogre lord, and the din of the swamp and the hushed chatter of. Urzin's residence is muted as you step through the folds of a heavy leather curtain into the chamber beyond. There, the reek of marsh is quickly replaced by the favorable scent of roasted meats and spiced wine. Ooh. Orc attendants gesture you towards uh, a litter of dingy furs before the seat of Bufal II, who allows you to settle in and welcomes you. Eat, drink, but be wary, for the Empire has come to Jorhas, bringing damnation with it. All right, I mean, don't mind if I do. And I'll start helping myself. To yeah, all there's of that food good and drink, shit. like, just spread about. Uh, like, like I said, spiced wines, ales, roasted meats. There's uh, a bunch. Uh, so, just... you've received my summons? Yes. Um, uh, two, two of our party couldn't make it, but I hope that the four of us will be enough to handle your, you seem your problem. capable. You found Urzin. Not many people from the outside do. What was that? What was it you said about the Empire? Well, let's just say that um, the Jorhesian Empire doesn't appreciate our way of living. And we don't really like, like our way of living. Well, sure. Let's say that they don't like turtles. Tortoises, actually. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. I have ruled this town for the past 40 years, after my father was slain by the Crin Paragon Sunbreaker Olaman. And it's been going well. The people like me, the people here have it good. But three nights ago, my most trusted counselor, a goblin witch named Bolbara, journeyed to the foothills of the Broken Veil vale Bluffs to the west, where she regularly forages for ritual component, components. But she didn't return. I don't know what happened to her, but I do know that Dwendalian Empire patrols have been spotted in that area in the previous weeks. The patrols strike out from an outpost known as Fort Venture, which watches over those bluffs. You see my concern. A goblin witch. What does she do? She advises me, helps the village. Um, we don't have many, uh, many people of magical inclination uh, at our disposal, but she uh, she's very talented and, and has been a great help, not just for the village, but also to me personally. So her going missing right after the increase in Empire patrols worries me. Hence why I'm looking for some help. I need you under the guidance of uh, one of my scouts to make your way to Fort Venture and find Bolbera. 
Reason being, reason why I need outsiders for this is, to be quite honest, you guys fuck up, doesn't fall back on the village, as we're already on thin ice with the Empire as it is. Nothing Same. personal. Fair enough. Okay. Um, seems straightforward enough, um, I guess. Find mm -hmm. missing person. Oh, find out what happened, it. and if she's alive, find her, bring her back. A simple break smash in, and grab. smash and grab. Yes, exactly. As uh, stated before by my uh, emissary, a payment of two hundred and fifty gold pieces will uh, be yours upon delivery of Volbera. And. Um, if you need supplies, uh, we have a few shops around town that uh, have the basics, uh, and you can grab what you need free of charge. Oh, that's in, very in order kind to of prepare you. for your for your adventure for your trip. Was it Lord Lord Bufal? Was that right? Yes, the second uh, um, Bufal will do. That's it, my mist. I'm oh, sorry. Right, I'm a I'm a very. Uh, well-trained man with specific needs that I'd, I'm not sure your your little town might cater to. I think I'll need 50 gold in advance for special supplies if we're going to be smashing and grabbing out of an imperial fort. Do you not know think? I'm going to need I'm going to be needing grappling hooks and ropes, gunpowder. You might need to take a wall down. Yeah, maybe 50 gold advance. Not be too bad. Make a persuasion check. We'll Ooh, also 22. need a description of the witch so we know what to look yeah. we know who to look for. Like they might have other goblin prisoners. Uh, give me a sec. Fifty gold up front, two hundred upon return with Bulbera. Uh, I'll, I'll hold out a gloved dwarf hand. Yeah, he uh, he nods to one of his orc uh, orc servants and uh, the orc walks over and hands you a coin purse with fifty gold pieces. All right. Thanking you kindly. <laughs> I will keep it to myself. <laughs> sure. Of course you will. Um, well, Bulbera. She looks goblin. Green skin, short, walks around with a staff. Honestly, uh, she'll stick out like a sore thumb uh, among all the em Empire's uh, soldiers. It'd be pretty easy to tell. Okay. All right. Um, I'll introduce you to um, the scout that will uh, be accompanying you, knowing the area and uh, guiding you towards the fort. Uh, and he, he kind of claps his hands and uh, the chatter that has picked up again after you guys kind of settled down just mutes again. And from a side door comes running in a hobgoblin, uh, reddish skin, uh, kind of frailed hair on, on on top of his head. He wearing these like leather, like scrappy leather leather armor. Comes running in uh, a, 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 like a satchel hanging from from his shoulder with a bunch of like maps and and, and papers sticking out of it. Uh, around his neck, uh, like a little, uh, little little pair of spectacles. He kind of comes running around. You summoned me, master? And he, uh, he looks at you as a group. Oh! I'm assuming you are the people that I'm I going really to be team. escorting through, uh, through the marsh, right? Yeah, we're the Xbox. Right, very good, very good. Um, okay. Um, uh, do you need any, anything to, pre to prepare yourselves? Uh, because if it's up to me, we'll go as soon as feasibly possible. I would actually love to get my hands on some, maybe some maps of the area. If we have any any blueprints of the fort, I mean, I'm I'm I, sure I that's unlikely, I've, but I have a map. oh, X, I would love to, to take a look. He takes out a map, it. and uh, I'll uh, I'll send you a picture of the set in that Discord. And I also pull out a pair of spectacles from my pack and put them on. They look a bit small, like they look like they were definitely meant for a face that is not my face, but I put them on anyway. Nice, stolen. 
Um, give me a second. More like they look like they're made for a human rounder face instead of like the angled draconic face. Like so I have to kind of like the hold them yeah. there. Yeah. And like, like I have to constantly adjust them because they're at the verge of falling off at any given time. So he uh, shows you uh, this map. Give me a second. Hold. I'll put the map on uh, scene as well. There we go. Boom. Uh, Urzin is uh, the settlement that you see uh, to, the, uh, to the top right. There's a little... Right. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but you can kind of make out that it, that's like a... Oh, a they are I see the turtles! Yeah. yeah! Yeah, That is where you I are. I thought it was like a hot uh, tortoise. That's... No, they're a lot bigger. Yeah. That's what I thought yeah. initially too, but they're a lot bigger. It's like It just makes me think of Discworld, and I love it. And then and, on the west side, that's the fort, right? Uh, yeah, he kind of lays down the land for you, and he, he points to... Um, like on the bottom left, on the cliff side, there is a structure, and that is that is yeah. Fort That is your that is I where see, you're yeah. going. I was like, um, oh, what's what's this here? And I point to the what looks like the bones, the rib cage sticking out of the ground. Oh, that is um. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> that would be um the sunken boneyard. Okay. Um, okay. Sounds a little sounds a lot scarier than it is. Uh, we we might pass through there because. Um, swamp, hard to travel through, and uh, that's that's one of the less uh, marshy areas. There's still a good layer of water, but at least there won't be any plants trying to grab you and pull you under. And it's instead of in a, in a bit of a clearing, um, so we'll, we'll we'll see it from up close if that is you know, something that tickles your fancy. Oh, abso absolutely, absolutely, uh, like. Bones, ruins, archaeological ruins. I, I, oh, that, that's just okay. That, that stuff just makes me excited. You know, yeah. I know we're on a we're on a time crunch. I know we. we well, it's gonna take us a few mission, days to but... travel across this 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 marsh. So, um, well, we'll see some sights along the way. Oh, what's your name? Uh. <laughs> His name is Uh. No, I have like ten pages over to open, dude. Holy shit! Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Market. EM life. Margaret, what? Margaret. Margaret. M O R G I T. Right. Margaret, Margaret. Uh, have you seen the fort yourself? Um, only from a distance. Uh, I don't like to, especially with the guards' uh, numbers multiplying uh, so much lately. I try to, I, I try to stay away. But um, I, I've seen it from a distance. I haven't been close enough to really know good entry points, but. How high do the walls look? Um, I mean, you're pretty, pretty average. Uh, I think, I reckon, you're not the tallest one, but uh, uh, no, I maybe if someone tosses you, you'll be able to get over. No tossing? I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that. Uh, <laughs> well, we can, we, can, we can provide you with climbing I mean, supplies if you want to climb mean, over yourself. I mean, I mean, they leap real well real high and i point to bell's frog character i'm like i like how how we might not there no tossing might be needed <laughs> not for me okay. i'm pretty good also handy. just a, a warning in advance don't touch me because i will kill you like not on purpose but it will happen just don't mm. at least not without gloves um noted yeah what's the tree in the middle sorry What's that tree in the middle? That, that looks like a tower to me. It looks like a great tree. Is it a tower? That would be uh, the crumbling tower. Yes, I knew it. I, I will. Looks, go looks very proud of herself. Like in her head, she's patting herself on the back. And in person, because she doesn't have any control. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in there? Um. I've been in there uh, a, couple of, a couple of times. Um, the tower used to be a lot higher or taller, but uh, over the years, it's slowly sinking deeper and deeper into the marsh. So a few years from now, the tower won't be, even be there anymore. Hmm. Um, um, it's, 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 yeah, there's some stuff there. Also a lot of, maybe you scared of spiders? Bad, no. Big, Not particularly. Like big spiders. Very big. Well, it wasn't, but now that you begin to mention it, hmm? I don't particularly enjoy the idea. Well, um, 
probably some treasure, but uh, large giant spiders, so I try to stay away. Very big. Like, giant. Right. You wouldn't happen to know if there's a copy of this map I could I could keep for myself. I don't want to take yours, but would I be able to uh, maybe yeah, get one a, before we leave? Um, yeah, sure. And he kind of goes through his bags and hands you an, ex an exact like, uh, copy. Made it myself, Looks like you know? a kid at Christmas. Oh, wow. Well, the, the mm -hmm. craftsmanship is lovely. Great cartography skills. Yep. And I, like, very carefully put it in my Should bag. Should be accurate enough. It might, be, it might be, you know, half a mile off here or there. But other than that, you know, overall... What's We're a still half in the hall, a mile right? between friends? Yes, sure. I'll turn to um, Lord B Bufal and say, "All, all right, M my lord." Uh... Anyway, when did I'm, goblins I'm, have I'm, fucking planes? <laughs> World of Warcraft. I think bro. we've got everything <laughs> we need to start getting prepared. So, I... thank you for the feast. If right, there's anything um, else you need if to tell us before we go. Armor you seek, visit Graf, the blacksmith. Uh, tools, adventuring gear, the sorts. You'll need Quartermaster Crick. Um, if you're more of a you know a bow user you're, uh, or traps, uh, find Vreya. Uh, Morgit will, 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 will show you around and, and guide you, I'm sure. Yes, sir. And, and Morgan does, right. does a little like, half bow. And you, you said anything from here is free of charge, right? Yes. Right. I just like whisper to um, Elias, because no, probably close to him, like, well, that's great because I have no money to buy anything. Well, exactly. Flush with cash at the moment, either. So this works out great. I'll give uh, a Morgan a sort of a nudge towards the door. Okay. All right, lead the way. Where do you want to go? What supplies do you need? Rhea. Uh, some potions, maybe. Pro if, if if such a thing can be purchased here. Um, yeah, no, probably. Uh, Quartermaster Correct would probably have that. Um, Rhea first, you said. Hi. Right. And uh, Morgit guides you back across that like rickety rope bridge that you that you came uh, from and. You cross another bridge to the uh, north, which takes you from the back of one of these tortoises to the back of another. And there you see a little hut with um, <clears throat> out front of the hut. There's a little there's a little like a, like a like a market stand almost. And behind it, you see a female drow elf uh, stalling out some bows, crossbows, arrows, bolts and, and, a, and a couple of like very simple hunting traps. And she notices you uh, as you approach and not used to seeing anything not, well, you know, goblinoid, orcish ogre here. So that's a nice Not used to seeing anything, you know, above ground. So, uh, seems they're equally surprised. Fair and enough. no one's ever expects to see me. That is Definitely fair. True. I didn't want to yeah. ask. Is that a skin condition? Because you might have to go and. Nah, nah, nah. I like it like this. It's much better. Eat spiders. I'm not afraid now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. right. When everyone become a frog. So are you um, saying you what can I do for you Always today? a frog. Hmm. We'll get into Leo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I take need... out a journal and just write a note as as they say that. Wasn't always frog? <laughs> Question mark, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, traps. what kind of traps? What kind of traps? Anything big enough or strong enough to snare a man. So, bad traps, probably? We have some some pretty big, uh, you know, it'll, 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 it'll cling to someone's ankle and he won't be going anywhere unless, you know, he separates himself from said ankle. I'm not sure if I'm impressed or terrified. Bit of both. <clears throat> Bear traps. Uh, this is all at the behest of the Lord Bufal, so... I've heard he uh, contracted some outside help for a little predicament. And right, yeah, we'll be dealing with... Uh, I've seen uh, for years, I'm going to assume that that is you. We'll be dealing with guardsmen, so take a few, maybe two or three. 
Stone fear? Um, yeah, I have uh, I have a few. Uh, we don't really. Um, our hunters they they prefer the smaller traps because they hunt smaller games. So these bear traps barely see use anyway. So yeah, take them. And um, she kind of like points you to a large crate behind her, like to the right side of of, of the hut. Just just grab as 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 many as you'd like uh, from that crate over there. How many can I feasibly grab? <laughs> they're, they're, they're big and they're pretty heavy. Yeah. So you said like two or three. That'll probably be like that. That that'll be it. Okay. So that, that's. I'll grab three. Shove them in a pack. Um. Make a little. What el what else is there? Somewhere around the place. Some. What was that, Ethan? Make a little assistant carry some for you. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give two to the scout. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Yep. That's fine. What is he? A hobgoblin? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be fine. Um, what else is there around the place? Uh, very basic. Uh, you can see a, a variety of pretty crude arrows and bolts, but also uh, a few, like, a few bundles that seem way more, um, like what you're used to, like clean, mm -hmm. neat. Um, what's the, I mean, it's a swamp, right? Yeah. So what's the temperature area. like? Is it quite... Humid. And... It is very humid. Yeah, it's like a humid, warm uh, type of okay. Type of deal. Uh, I would like to keep a lookout for if we don't go to the uh, the weapon. You there was a quartermaster, right? Yeah. Uh, weapons would be Graf the blacksmith. As, uh, okay. As if we told. don't, if we don't go to the blacksmith, I would like to keep an eye out for either. Uh, some way of preparing food or just some form of fire. Okay. Uh, and... Oh no. It's going to be another ham sandwich with a mace. <laughs> no, no. no it's no. not going to be no, a ham no, sandwich, no. 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 I I'm, even have a mace this time. Um, all, this, all the stuff that you see stalled out, uh, Ludwig, is, is mm. fairly basic and crude in nature. Like, it's it's not exceptional. It's it's just your basic longbow, shortbow, crossbows, arrows, bolts, that sort of stuff. I'll take a, a, a bundle of 20 arrows. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, right, uh, any, uh, any of your compatriots need anything? I don't suppose you have a back room that I could borrow for a minute. You need to go to the toilet. We no, no, I need to... Um, I, I need to write something down, but there's not really anywhere to lean here, and it's not very private. Um. Uh, yeah, go inside. Uh, there's no one in there, so... Okay, yeah, I will go in, and I will write a letter. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, dokie. <clears throat> so you, uh, you know, you go in there, you write your letter, you come back out, and she, she looks at you. Everything, um, been good. Yeah, everything's, everything's all right. fine. I'm assuming all, then... she didn't have a fire going. Well, you warm already, isn't it? That is very true. Right. Well, it was uh, lovely meeting you all. Definitely a. Um... Fun change of scenery. Just, uh, you know, bigger Much speech, but good luck with whatever it is that our Lord has you do, and um, perhaps we'll see each other again. While we're... A few bad tracks, have you? While we're walking around... Um... So, uh... Buffal... King Buffal? Lord Buffal? Uh... Lord. Yes, Lord Buffal. Okay, uh, Buffal mentioned there'd been Dwendalian Empire guards mm -hmm. on the border. Correct. Okay. Um, we are in Johas. Is there any, like, clear iconography as we walk around that shows that they have allegiance to the dynasty? Or is it just simply that they're sort of like an, an independent faction? That just happened to be um, roaming through Shohas. Wait, who are you asking about? Like, who do you want to know has a clear allegiance? The, to the like, the the settlement as a whole. I can't. Is it a settlement if it moves? Um, this settlement. <laughs> um, like, is there any sort of like um, Quindalian symbols or iconography? Symbols or... Absolutely. Well, not. We know that they don't have any issues with. They don't have any connection to Dwendalian Empire. Well, we're, yeah, we're on the dynasty side right now. We're we're, we're in Johas right now, yeah. which is dynasty, but not everyone's always 
Yeah. Uh, you know, you in the same way. You have not noticed any signs for either of these factions here. Okay. Um. Maybe they're like they want to stay neutral. They're like because they move around. Maybe they're just yeah. like we we won't mess with anyone. We do our thing. I would like to. What was the name of the uh, lady with the bear traps? Freya. Freya. I would like to. Are we still vaguely close by? Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll wander over to Freya. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna ask fairly quietly. I'm gonna ask in undercommon. Okay. This place is unusual. Is oh, I mean, obviously, I'm in a heavy minority being human. Um, is that specific ties to to the dynasty here, or? Are you guys considered more independent? Mm. Some townsfolk... This is not a common. Um, some townsfolk would prefer it um, if we form an pledge our allegiance to the dynasty, but Lord Bufal doesn't want that, and the people respect Bufal. So but we have not done that as of yet. That's reasonable. I'm sure you can understand. Evil fears uh, that uh, if we grow submissive to the dynasty's whims, Risen will become a target for imperial reprisals. Being us, us being so close to the border most of the time, so we'd rather not pick a side at all. Does make a lot of sense. I'm sure you understand why I'm uh, careful mm. in this line of inquiry being. This, human this on place side of the border. Uh, has no allegiance to either faction. That makes me feel markedly more comfortable. Thank you. No worries. And I will join back up with Groot. So, blacksmith, anyone? Anyone need to go to the blacksmith? Go to the shop. Okay. Anyone I'm, need it? anything I'm, else? I'm okay. Um, I'm potions. Good. Not that mm. I doubt my healing abilities but it just just in case and never Potions, hurts, um, you know? shall be um available at uh, quartermaster crack uh, who's on the way and craft blacksmith is is one bridge over so uh, we'll, we'll go to the quartermaster first and then we'll go to the blacksmith and then uh, if you're all ready to go we'll be on our way yeah does anyone need good. anything from the blacksmith no Are you, well, didn't you say blacksmith anyone i wanted to see if anyone needed anything oh. um i might peruse, but if you guys have potions nah, to buy, got, I can I've always... got Old Faithful right here, just pat the mace like protruding I'm, I'm from... <laughs> sure you can all catch up with me then. I'll... I I don't have any money to buy po I think we don't need money, do we? I we don't... Well, if don't we buy need... fancy potions, I'm sure they'll charge, but for basic, I'm hoping that it that it's covered, mm. you know? I don't... I, I trust you all to gather potions. I don't need anything. I would like to go and browse, but I don't want to waste time, so... Well, then, why don't we just meet up at the edge of the city? You can go to the blacksmith, we'll go do potions. We'll, be, we'll... we'll be departing oh. uh, from the, 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 the southern uh, exit of the, that. the town, so if you just meet us there, then... If I am not back to the potion shop before you leave, I will meet you there. Okay. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Right. So you, uh, is there I, anything in particular you're looking for? Um, I'm going to go with um, Elias, real right? quick. I'm going to go with Elias, oh, okay. the blacksmith. Okay, okay, okay. Then I will go to the blacksmiths. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, is that not where we were going? Find out. I thought we were going, some people were going, going to the quartermaster, some people were going to the blacksmiths. I was going to go to the, I, I told you all I was going to go to the blacksmiths while you right. went to the quartermaster. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll do Quartermaster first then in that case. Um, as uh, you, Ferris, and uh, Ravamorn are being uh, guided by uh, Morgid, uh, you enter a, a slightly uh, bigger hut, and inside said hut, there's a, a shorter like, desk than usual, as um, this this short green goblin kind of stalls out some supplies and what can I do for you, huh? Um, hi. We are just looking to get some potions before a long journey. Um, I don't know if 
you you heard, but um, Lord. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You know those fancy smancy us? outsiders. Yes, yes. Yeah. Free of yeah. charge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what what healing potions would can you offer us? Uh, I got a couple of uh, basic ones. Sounds good to me. Okay. Anything else uh, you want to pry from my how, hands? How many is a couple? A couple does imply two. Okay, just making sure. Um, and um, just just between between us, maybe. And I look like I try and do the smooth like palm a, a gold coin over, but I drop the coin. Oh, hold on, pick up the coin and then slide it across the short desk and go. Um, anything you know about this this bul bulbara uh, that might help? Uh, maybe any any tidbits, the useful information. Mm. Besides that town being in the shitter, if it wasn't for her, huh? Uh, yes, elaborate on that, actually. Well, the only reason... Journal, journal and pen. Only reason, you know, our lord makes a good decision is because she advises him. Pretty sure without her, we're all fucked. Oh, okay. Without so, her. So, so you, you would say she's capable she's and intelligent. And alive. Inter hopefully. Well, yes. capable, yeah. Intelligence, absolutely. Um, it's just without uh, without Bobera, I feel Beaufort's time is coming to an end, and that happens. We're gonna pledge our allegiance to the dynasty, and then this old town is it's done for. Do you think he's shit at his job? No, uh, he's, a, he's a good leader, but um. You're just worried just, about your safety, because you think yeah, you're safer with the dynasty. Yeah, uh, you know, he's getting a little older, he, and his head, uh, he's not very smart. He's, it, you know, I she's know, the brains of the operation, mean. he's the muscle, you know? They work together yeah. very well, separate okay. from each other, not so much. Okay, okay, so that is that is very good to know. Excellent, yes. Just writing that notes. Uh, he makes you. the right decisions because she tells him what the right decisions are, and in return, she makes sure that, uh, you know, uh, all the, 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 the boring meetings and stuff he doesn't have to do so that he can he's more like i said he's more physical so like the, the, in a town like this where a lot of us are very physical that works very well have a leader that honestly if, like the common townsfolk that if, if it was just bulbera they wouldn't respect the word she says because she's a witch right and uh, not mm -hmm. many of us are of that same uh background whereas large brutish ogre slaps anyone around that uh, tries to oppose him, that's something the majority here respects. It's, it's just, you know, it's a culture thing. Okay, okay. Sorry for the type. Okay, got it. Got it. That's very helpful. Thank you. Um, and then I, I'm gonna look at uh, Ravamore and be like, do you want to keep one of these, or should I keep them both? So that the two potions. I'll, I guess I'll keep them then. Just put them in my bag. Wait, were you talking to me? I yeah. did not process that. At all. Sorry. Sorry. I just, I'm basically <laughs> offering the two potions that, like, do you want to keep one or should I hold on to both of them? I'll take one. Okay. So we each have one just common healing potion now. I've added it to my inventory. Okay. So while you guys, you know, you inquire some information and all that stuff, uh, Ludwig and Elias. Right, uh, Elias, I know you want to come here. I'm just going to be quick. Uh, Graf, Graf. Yeah. What is he? He's an orc. He's an orc. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. I need grappling hooks. Um, yeah, got a couple. I'll take them. Take them both. Okay. You need rope with that? Right. Nah, be alright. Alright. Thanks. Elias, he's all yours. I, he like I'm he like just... nods to the to the like table where there where you can see the grappling hooks kind of like laid out. Just two? Yeah. Alright. Just browsing out of interest. Um more than anything. It's not like I'm going to make any money off of you anyway, so browse at your old browse away. Do you, uh, do you make these yourself? Um, the majority, yeah. 
Some mm-hmm. of which uh, traders do come by and we, we, we pedal a bit, but the majority I make myself. Is there a, a forge behind him? Um, uh, yes. Is it currently lit and yeah. running? Yes. Okay. Um, I am going to... Spend a couple of minutes wandering around and making some effort to appear interested in what's on display. Mm-hmm. Um, when you get caught in a lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <With> Elias. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <And> Elias. <laughs> um. <laughs> is, is Ludwig just like? Stood waiting. Yeah, pretty much. Pack, packed up the fucking grappling hooks and, well, you know, gave him a look over, or whatever. Packed him away, and I'm just kind of standing, tapping my foot. Okay. Um, I'll walk over and pretend to be looking at whatever's nearest to him, and I'll lean over to Ludwig. Would you mind awfully holding the attention of the blacksmith for a moment or two? <laughs> yeah, I'll like... sort of. As he kind of spits Sons, while he's doing something. Sons the desk. Ew. And, uh... Oh. <clears throat> I'll address him in Goblin. Okay. And see if he responds. In Goblin? Mm. And I'll, 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 I'll sort of give a... Wait, who, who did the scout go with? Uh, the others. Oh, the other two. Us. Nah. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say to him, uh... <clears throat> uh Graf... Uh, what do you call a goblin with an injured leg? In goblin. Oh no. Goblin, goblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so That's much. A good one. <laughs> I'll, I'll put. I'll put two. I, I, how much do you charge for the grappling hooks? Usually, I feel a bit bad leaving you out of pocket. Mm. Lord said free of charge. So it's free of charge. I'll, I'll slide him a gold piece anyway, and just kind of give him a nod. We've got gotten normally. So. We're going to this this fort. I don't know if you know anything about it. Uh, over by the mountains, uh, um, some imperial fort. Trav, sort of tip venture, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Venture, right. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Oh, I suppose I don't know if you got no, out much. I don't really get out much. Just sort of, you know, you, I'm sure you've been around a while. Have you heard anything about this uh, crumbling tower? Yeah, it's a uh, few miles away from here. It used to stand tall above all the trees and in the marsh, but over the years it's slowly been sunk deeper and deeper into the the marsh. And well, rumor has it there's some treasure in there, but. Uh... No one has travelled there and come back with any treasure. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. Hmm. Alright. Uh, While this is happening, mm-hmm. uh, I would like to... When, whenever he seems fairly distracted, I am going to... Uh, pick my fingers. Mm-hmm. And have a small uh, black and white ferret mm. appear inside my pocket okay. and take the letter that I've written mm-hmm. and sneak under the desk and put it in the fire in the forge. Okay. So this little ferret comes out of your pocket, takes a letter and just... And yeah, puts the, I, I, puts the I letter in the, explain in the forge. This to you. I don't know if you want me to message you or... Yeah, sure. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, we prefer. can deafen. I, uh, I can message you or we just can... message me, message me. Yeah, yeah, just... Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to type... That's all I wanted to do, and I'll sort of... Okay. Uh, so the, the ferret puts the letter in the forge, as in, like, in the yes. fire and... Yes, in the motion. fire, Okay. so that it burns away, Magical and then runs back to me. All right. So as, as that happens, the forge flares up a little bit, but... Uh, Graf the orc seems too much in conversation about mm. goblins and treasure and the crumbling tower with uh, your uh, associates to notice, really. One last one last thing here, uh, Graf, before we go. Uh, do you have any uh, 
metal uh, pitons for like climbing. Might have to scale a wall to get into this fort, and I want to be as prepared as possible. What? I'll I'll, I'll pull one out of my pack. Uh, uh, pitons, uh, like these weird spikes oh, for climbing. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I have a few bundles of them. Uh, how many do you think you need? Uh, I would say another ten, maybe. Is that right? Yeah, sure. They're uh, right. I'm on a shelf back. Hold on, he walks towards his forge and kind of like reaches to a, a, a like a metal shelf above it. Oh, it's hot. Um, I placed that in the wrong place. And he grabs like a little bundle and hands them to you. All right, thank you very much. All right, I, I think that's going, going to do it for us. So, um, okay. if you do go to that tower and there's treasure, don't forget who told you that there was. Yeah. Oh, I won't forget. I, I, I'll never forget a friend. All right. Mm. And uh, very I'll good. Sort of nudge Elias and uh, make my way out. At eight, uh, with that, uh, I'd say you'd probably be done at about an equal time uh, in in the shop. So that that took about the same amount of time for both duos. Um, do you two? Uh, you said you, you would go back to the to the quartermaster, right? What you told? I um, will cast message. Oh, that works. To Ferris. We've finished up at the blacksmith. Are you still at the quartermaster, or shall we meet you at the south? Ferris? Everyone's got to get used to different fucking yeah. names. Ferris? Laura? Sorry, Laura. what? You got messaged? <laughs> whether... I cast message to ask if you're still at the quartermaster. Or yes, you... yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright, so you guys make your way back to the, quarter, uh, to the Quartermaster, and as you approach, yeah. you see uh, Morgit, accompanied by uh, Ferris and Ravamorn, uh, just leave um, the hut. Oh, there's your friends! Alright, Morgit! I guess we're ready to go! Alright, very good. Five of the pitons. Um, hey, hold on, take these! Oh. Hey. Traveling a bit heavy. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> well, you might as well make yourself useful, I mean. Um, Come on. I could take my map back and you can, you can go on your own. No. Thank you. Anyway, um, we're burning daylight. Uh, a few notes before we enter the marsh. Um, there, well... Do we have to enter the marsh? I thought you said that yes. the, we have to go. The, we, no, we could this go entire place is a marsh. There's just the some places that are marsh less shitty direction. to travel oh. than others. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, like places where the water is waist level is bad. Places where the water is knee level is considered good. You know, still waist shit, level on who? Um, waist level on the big. Yeah, so, knee level it is. Right. I mean, I'm amphibious, so, like, I'm good. I'm very intrigued by this crumbling tower, so... I um, do want to well, as luck would have it, that is kind of on our on our path. I was going to try and give it a bit of a berth, because spiders, but you seem to know what you're doing. All right. So... The uh, Hobgoblin Scout guides you, starts uh, leaving the way and uh, or leading the way, and before you know it, you leave um, Urzin and you start traveling in a southwestern direction. Um, from a travel point of view, because this entire marsh is considered difficult terrain, you'll be able to travel ten miles a day. Um, okay. So have fun with that. Little nice. uh, little uh, bit of information. And your your guide, uh, Morgid, obviously knowing that, having traveled these 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 parts plenty, uh, is going to try and just guide you in such a way where it's an efficient way of traveling to your destination, but also a way that isn't going to guarantee get you killed and run into a bunch of nasty shit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. So, um. hold on. Oh, while we're traveling, I'm also going to just tell. Um, 
uh, Elias and uh, Ludwig what the the potion person told me about the relationship between Bulbara and Bufal mm-hmm. and like how it's more than just oh I want my witch back it's like the, the fate of this little settlement might actually rely on us finding her or they're converting to the dynasty mm-hmm. interesting so as you leave Urzin behind under the uh, charge by your hobgoblin guide boggy wetlands covered with waist high water spread as far as the eye can see as you venture deeper into the mist land and expanses of the Brokenville Marsh Morgid, your hobgoblin guide, knows the route you must follow, but that path leads through a hazardous morass uh, in the territory of unknown monsters. While you take a brief rest on a patch of relatively dry land, Morgid produces a scrap of bleached leather from his belt, a map of the marsh that he uh, has already shown, and kind of he starts murmuring. Marsh loves outlanders like you, loves to gobble them up. Worry not, my friends. Morgan will eat me. <laughs> I don't like this. Maybe three days of swamp to sift through till we reach Fort Venture, and then it's your time to shine. And kind of like mumbles that to himself and puts the map away again. A little bit of a golem vibe. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna be like, you, you know we can hear you, right? Ah! Huh? You know ah! we can hear you. Oh, just now. Did I do that thing again where I think out loud? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's not, it's not that I, you're not the first group of adventurers that I'm trying to bring to the town. Oh, I don't, I don't mind. I'm just letting you know, like, don't, just in case oh, you weren't aware, saying, you don't um, want to spill your deepest, darkest secrets I'm on accident saying, or something. Not, you know? not, just... Why would you warn him about that? <laughs> well, okay. Um, he's, he's helping anyway, us, um, you know? We're going, we're going to be traveling, Maybe? um, south, south, southwest from here. Uh, about four miles, and then we'll take a bit of a break, if that's, uh, if that's good for you all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I suppose I don't really have much of a choice. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Given that other people have died on this task, we should have asked for more money. on your way, <laughs> um, you, okay, woo, which one of you has a passive perception of 12 or higher? No, me! Uh, perception? <laughs> yeah, passive 12. Perception. Okay, 12 or higher, so there you go. You all see, like in the path, in the general direction where Morgan is guiding you, you can see and hear this this, this loud, this loud hiss as two crocodiles kind of swim in that general direction and that Morgan seemingly has not seen yet. They approaching us like are they trailing or are they like actively they're ahead of you and morgan is guiding you towards them i'm just gonna quickly like nudge morgan and point ahead Uh, what's that we have something oh oh oh, um okay this way this way thank you all right follow morgan there you go Uh, steer us away from the crocodiles and uh thanks to your warning uh he manages to Get you, uh, get you around uh, the crocodiles without being seen. God bless. Until um, you okay, reach, crack a deal. God bless me. you reach, about f- uh, four hours later, four miles uh, traveled. You kind of come across signs of how far into the swamps of the Dwendalian, uh, or how far into the swamps the Dwendalian Empire's patrols have reached. Um, you spy a shaded thicket of withered mangrove trees draped in a sickly veil of rotted kutsu and creeper vines. A moldering wooden raft topped with a single withered post floats near the center of this dark and lonely copse. A gaunt form clings lifelessly to the bottom of the post, recognizable as the weathered skeletal remains of a Dwendalian soldier. Ooh. Does it look like the Dwendalian soldier oh. died there? Or does it look like they were specifically put there? Uh, you're a little far uh, to tell, but try and make a perception check. Um, four. Four? Yeah, it's not good. You have no idea. You're going to have to look a little, uh, little closer if you want to determine that. I can't send my ferret because it will drown. Is it just the body? Does it look like any of the his equipment is around? Like any bags or bedrolls or weaponry or just uh, the body? I mean, he seems to have all of his uh, belongings still with him on him, yeah. 
Is he still in, like, the uh, soldier attire? The yeah. uniform? Yeah. You said, you said there was a raft? Yes. That is kind of what he's on top of. Though. Okay, right. Um... I want to kind of, like, go underwater and swim towards it stealthily. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to draw draw my bow and just kind of keep an eye on right. Ravamorn. Is... I don't know if this is something that I would know from... We've been adventuring together a while, a while, right? Yeah, I mean not a while, while, but yeah, you've been you've been like in we, group we've for a couple months together. at least. Yeah, you, you, you're you're semi, you know, comfortable with each other now and kind of Does know what, how each other uh, how, how each other works. Anyone work. within the group benefit from having a high initiative? Huh? Uh, uh, Any? I don't think so. Not in particular. Okay, then I will uh, trace some geometric symbols in front of me as we approach and cast Gift of Alacrity on myself. Okay. Selfish. <laughs> I okay. checked first. Rather I more, checked. Are you, are you traveling towards the corpse? Uh, yeah. Um, as you are um, traveling... What's your passive perception? 14. 14? Yeah. As you get closer to the corpse, you kind of like come to a stop as you realize that there's two swarms of poisonous snakes kind of dwelling around the corpse. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna like surface and like stick oh, a hand out and kind of like wave a cautionary <laughs> signal. Like, no, 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 go back. <laughs> oh, I think she's drowning. Um, uh, I'm just gonna be like, does that? Is she? Is she waving? Like approach or retreat? I don't know. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Like, uh, I think that's a uh, go away. I, 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 I don't, I don't really know. Um, I will cast message to Ravamon. Yeah. You want to tell us what's going on? Oh, I forgot you could do that. Um, <laughs> there are poisonous snakes. <laughs> there are poisonous snakes. Mm -hmm. Around the raft. Oh, then, I, then I guess I mean, we just I, leave I can it? handle a bit of poison. I don't know about you. Alcohol doesn't count. Um, I I enjoy not being poisoned, personally. Um, Ravamorn, as yeah. you kind of come to a stop and communicate with uh, your ally, you notice that one of these snake swarms has since moved closer towards you. And, Can I see um, them in the water from where I am? At this point, as you see a like just a group of snakes and a few of them kind of like lash out towards Ravamorn. Uh, yes. Can I shoot? You, you see them. Uh, hold first. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to roll an attack for the snakes. See if she uh, dies immediately. 17 plus... Historically. <laughs> Historically, snakes and frogs don't get on. No. Uh, I mean, 17 plus plus something. I need to quickly open that thing. I mean, does, does anyone in the group have an AC above 17? Yeah, it hits me. Okay. I'm well odd. What do you mean? I'm well you odd, mate. For <laughs> sake. Nails, bro. Ah, yeah, oh, there's nails. You take five points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Is that for poison? That is for poison, yes. I'm immune, Oh, there bitch. you go. <laughs> so you just take five Frog points of piercing damage in that case. There you so go. it was five damage? Uh, yes, five points five of piercing. Five piercing. Yes. Yeah. Piercing damage, cool. Aye. Um, with that, because may you were I, already kind of a lookout, uh, hmm. uh, Ludwig, I'll give you a chance to attack, and then we're going to go into initiative. Okay, cool. I'm going to cast... You're no, not Ludwig. Uh, not you, Oh, wait, me. no, no. Ludwig. Wrong person. Wrong person. <laughs> he, he, was, he was readying to attack. Pretty yeah, much, yeah. Anyway. 21 so, to hit. I forgot my name. 21 to hit, that hits, yes. I'm rolling Imagine good you today, boys. All right. Be good. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. All right, very good. Then... Where do I Where do I manage my ammo Is on D&D &D Beyond? 
I have uh, fuck. Inventory, inventory, you can see, see, like, there's the crossbow and then crossbow bolts, like on mine, for example. So there should also be bolts or arrows, and you can just click it, just and then under quantity. One. Yeah. So you, you as yeah. these snakes kind of lash out at, uh, at Ravimorn, you let fly an arrow as you were kind of on the lookout already. Do I have sneak attack? <gasps> yes, you do get sneak attack. It's true. Very yeah. Melee yeah. with an ally. And Hell engaged yeah. with an ally. How does this work? Sneak attack. And they're not um, focused on him at all. They're focused you roll, on. You roll. I think it's two d six at this level. Two d six. Oh my god. Yeah. It. Yeah. Sneak attack OP. Okay, that's ten extra points of damage. Ten extra points of damage. Attack. Woo. Yep. Okay. See, there you go. Lady. Yeah. Cutting so as you shoot half. the arrow, uh, you can see just a handful of these snakes in the swarm already just like f flying out of this like just this writhing mess of like a, like a knot almost of snakes that just kind of seem to kind of move as one unit. Uh, it's very strange. Um, I would have, I would like some initiatives, please, ladies and gents. Bam. Oh, shit. Sorry, that never happens. I never roll, I never roll good on initiatives. So. I'm rolling okay. so good today. Uh, God damn. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> nice. I rolled fine. You rolled great, because I cast um, a spell on myself. Any 20 pluses? 26. Natural 20, which Fucking makes 21. Uh, 20, uh, natural 20 goes first. Uh, it's only 21, though. So... Yeah, but still, natural 20 is natural 20. All right. Yeah, get fucked. Uh, yeah. We <laughs> oh, here we go, 26. Go... Game one, so we did, yeah. We now. did, and I was the first to benefit from it, so it's only fair. <laughs> However, no, I, 26 then, going second. Get, uh, what yeah. did you roll, uh, Bell? I'm going to quickly go. 10. 10? I rolled 10. Yeah. Okay. With Gift of Alacrity, my initiative so, could be up uh, to Faris. 35. Damn. You're up first. What do you do? You see um, Ludwig has already fired an arrow at the snakes. You can also see that the other uh, like like group of snakes is also slowly getting ready to wiggle its way towards Ravimorn. Yep. Um, how far away in feet are the swarm about 30. Of snakes and Rav? Uh, the one that 30? is in melee with Ravimorn is about 30 feet away. The other one is about 40 feet away. Okay. Uh, fuck it. I don't Lily. think an arrow is gonna do much in a swarm, and I'm not gonna run into the water with my mace. I mean, um, you just saw further. Ludwig use a use a use a bow and 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 yeah, do some yeah, damage yeah. too. I'll let him. I'll let him do that. Okay. I will aim for the one that's thirty feet, because I actually let's pull in the cool. Can I move in a way? No, because then Ravimorn is probably in the middle. Is there a way I can move so the two swarms um, are in a line? <laughs> keep, oh, okay, Koiba. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind that you are all... This is all considered difficult terrain, so your movement speed yep, is yep. cut in half. Yep. Um, at all times. So within within 15 feet of movement, can I get both of the two swarms in a line without um, hitting Rav? If you kind I of lie... Uh, yeah, uh, I, mm, mm. Only if Ravimorn is also in said line. Okay, then I'll just stay where I am and go for the one that's 30 feet because the <laughs> line extends to 30 feet long, so they'll just be in the end. And I'll just make sure I'm aiming it because it's like five feet wide. So it's it, like, Rav could probably feel the heat of the lightning, but it shouldn't hit her. Hit them. I don't know Rav's pronouns, actually. Um, so I will... All pronouns. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I will go ahead and use my, my breath weapon for lightning damage. They have to roll a dex save. Dex save. Bop. Uh, ooh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, 18? Yeah, that makes it. <laughs> Still half damage. So they, they're, yeah, they're going to take half. I rolled okay on the two d6s. So it was nine total. So you, you happen uh, to either four or five? Like, uh, four. Okay. Right, yeah. So yeah, they take one. It's been a while, guys. I need a, my DM brain needs to turn on again. That swarm takes four lightning damage. All right. Very good. Ooh. Anything else you wish to do with your turn? Um. I don't think so, cause I don't. I nah, I'm not gonna. I don't think. I think Rav's probably fine for now. I'm not gonna do that. I will. Oh, wait, is it is it an action? That's but that cantrip. Hold up. Oh, it's an action, not a bonus action. Shit. Okay. Yep, that's my turn. All right, Elias. Okay. Um. Hmm. What's the best thing to do here. How far am I? Am I from the swarms right now? Thirty from the one that is in melee with Ravimor, and forty from the other one. Okay, I am going to walk. 
uh, 30 feet to the one that's in melee with Ram. Your movement terrain. speed is cut in half because you're on difficult Fuck terrain. It is, isn't it? Yes. Motherfucker. Ah. Entire, I'll entire move 15 feet terrain. forward. Yeah, okay. And I will. The only reason it wasn't difficult terrain for Ravamorn is because Frog can frog. swim frog, very good. <laughs> frog yep. can swim very well. Frogs can uh, breathe underwater. Which is why Ravamorn managed to get a bit of a head start on you guys. Okay. Uh, that's absolutely fair, however, fuck you. <laughs> God, I love Frogs so much. It's such a fun phrase. Um. Uh, sorry, I new character things. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I... Because uh, I'm 15 feet away, fuck it. I'm going to use Firebolt. Okay. On uh, the one that's in melee with Ravenmorn? Or on the other one? Yes. Yes. The one that's in melee with Ravenmorn. Okay. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to look at it in the water, and I'm going to just... Fling forward like a streak of fire. Roll your attack. I'm just gonna look at it and kill it with uh, my. There's an 18. Yes, yeah. That hits. Uh, that is 10 points of fire damage. You see, as uh, just a handful of these snakes just like evaporates, uh, just completely like burn up and nothing but dust remains. But there's still a few snakes in that initial swarm still lashing at uh, Ravenmorn. But uh, yeah, that, that swarm has since shrunk a lot. Uh, that is about all I can do for now. Okay. Uh, in fact, no, fuck it. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna use my oh. bonus action to cast Shadow Blade. Ooh. Uh, so I'm going to. There's no sheath at, El at Elias's side. Okay. But it's as if reaching for a sheath, draw a sword, and weave together the shadows that were underneath his coat into like a solidified dark metal That's sword. Dope. So you have you, you were walking around without a weapon the entire time and now yeah. you reach to like a sheath that doesn't exist and you just pull out this like shadow sword. That's fucking bad. Like the shadows like what were shadows That's under his cool. coat form into a sword. That's fucking badass bro. What the fuck? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Okay. Is that your turn? My turn. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Ludwig. I'm gonna stride well, wade, I suppose, 10 feet <laughs> forwards. Okay. So, the one by Rav is 30 feet, and then the other one was 40 feet away? Correct. So, yeah, I'll stride 10 feet forward, loose another arrow at the uh, the one in melee with Ravamorn. Roll your attack. Let's fucking cocks his helmet. That is a 14 tip. Wait. Let me double check. Might be a 15. 14 to hit. Just hits. Ooh. Do I have sneak attack? I guess I do. Yeah, you do. Seventeen points of damage. You let loose another arrow, and this arrow manages to just put all like the three remaining snakes of that swarm. Just just turning them into a, a giant snake kebab as the, that swarm just just stops moving completely and now just floats lifeless in the water. So that's oh, one. Oh, that's dinner sorted. Dealt with. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm then going to use my Master of Tactics huh? and pointing to, the, pointing to the other swarm of snakes, I'm just going to sort of call out, there's another swarm below the water! And I'm going to use my help action as a bonus action and uh, Next person to whoever, has whoever advantage. attacks is going to have advantage. Very Fucking nice. Big moves for a bonus action. That's Yeah, that's huge. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, the second snake swarm is going to close the gap to... Actually... You... No, it's going to turn to you, Ludwig. Mm. And it's going to just swim 30 feet towards you, being in melee with you, and uh, are going to oh, cringe. start snapping it, at you. Since Ludwig was only moved 10 foot forward, does it pass me? Um... I guess. But not in a... Like, it, it doesn't provoke an attack opportunity. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't, like, enter your melee. It doesn't have to enter your melee to use his movement to get okay, to Okay, that's uh, fine. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Uh, oh, actually, that is good. Uh, 15 to hit? That yeah. hits. That hits. 
Keep forgetting you're no longer like high level badasses. So. No, we can <laughs> yeah. die here, Dutch. We can die. We to could snakes. die from snakes. We could. We could die from normal snakes. Um, let alone you take a swarm four points of, of piercing snakes. damage, and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. And I have advantage against poison. Oh, it's a dwarf. Because you're a dwarf. Yeah. Oh. Thirty twenty or a nineteen. Shit. Um, okay. Uh, you make the save, so you take half poison damage instead of. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you have poison resistance as well? Like uh, yes. You just, yeah? Yeah. So you, you, so you, you take, you a, take quarter a quarter of damage, whatever then. you roll. Oh, fuck me. Uh, 10, 60. Oh, dude, I rolled two sixes and two fives on 46, though. So, oh my god. Uh, 16, 22, 11, 5 points of poison damage. And how much was the piercing? Uh, 4. So 9 points well, That could have like killed that, right? you in one hit. That, yeah, that. Yeah, right. if I wasn't a badass. There you go. I wasn't a dwarf! <laughs> Alright. It's ironic um, because. In theory, they need less poison in them because they're after the side. Yeah, that is uh, that is its turn, uh, Ravamorn. You see, the snake swarm in front of you has been dealt with, and now you see Ludwig being snapped at by a similar-looking cloud of snakes, almost uh, as as like it's just the be- the best way to kind of uh, describe what you're seeing is just this like weave of snakes all kind of writhing but somehow yeah, all like, moving um, in unison and just like snapping at you whenever but, uh, that uh, is now happening in front of uh, Ludwig what do you do Ravamorn I'm gonna shoot five bolt at it okay roll an attack oh, got magic. from underwater <laughs> yeah baby that's a nine to hit a nine to hit <laughs> uh, that fireball because the water. you were still like partially submerged is kind of Fizzles out in the in the murky swamp water. <laughs> Didn't really think that one through, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would have been else? fine if I brought a hike. Anything else that you want um, to do this turn? Can I get to the raft? Um, yeah, you have enough swim speed to. Uh, you, you have swim speed, right? I'm pretty sure. I do. Yeah, yeah, you have enough to close that gap. Absolutely. Uh, and then can I climb up? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And that's what I'm gonna do. Fair enough. Okay, uh, back to Fadis. Um, yeah, I'm now out of I can't lightning breath again, so I'm gonna just follow Ludwig's lead, I guess, and use my crossbow, shoot at one of the swarms to try okay. and dispel. I'm gonna shoot at the one that I hit with the lightning. Uh, there's only one, I was uh, dead. one left. Oh, right, then the other one. I'm, I'm, I lied. I'm yeah, Roy Ludwig skewered that one. He's cute. That's a natural one. Ooh. <laughs> you, you That's fired. one of the oh. new. And I'm, not I'm, I'm allergic anymore. to crossbow bolts. I can't bolts. re-roll natural it. One. Actually, before you yeah, do anything, yeah. before you do anything, what? I am going to use Chrono Shift as a reaction. Okay. Uh, you re-roll that. that. <gasps> oh, and you have to use the second result. Okay. okay. Natural 20! Oh Whoa! my god! Hey, what baby! I was wondering, I was wondering, I was that one first to see 20. if she shot Ludwig in the ass. Yeah, I know. Like, what, what, what did Udo reverse card? I manipulate the weave Hell of yeah. time to make you not fuck up and shoot Ludwig. Hell yeah, alright. Roll damage and double those dice. Record scratch. Yeah, rewind. baby. One I really three. fucking always sunnied in Philadelphia does. Mm-hmm. Um, I only Credits rolled three rolled and I on the D8, it. so that's seven piercing damage. Seven points piercing damage, hey? Something. Yeah. Still better than shooting him in the neck. True. Yep. Okay, anything else with your turn? I will bonus action, since I didn't cast a spell, uh, cast Healing Word, okay. and uh, heal um, Rav for six hit points, because I rolled a four on the d4. Okay. How oh, yeah. And uh, I guess the, the oh. healing word in question is just me speaking um um like praise be saren ray and draconic and then she hears nice. it and heals okay i know draconic I know. Oh, that's that. well and then i'm sure saren ray is just saren ray even yeah. in draconic so it's just the praise be is draconic <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, elias you're up. I am going to turn around now that this swarm of snakes has gone behind me. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe I'm only like five feet away yeah, from Yeah, you're like just out of melee with them, so you have to like move five feet. Okay. So I will 
I walk forward five feet. As I walk forward five feet, mm -hmm. I'm going to reach into the other side of my coat oh. and pull out a dagger. Ooh. Not a shadow dagger, just a dagger. Plain old dagger. Um, and what a letdown. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk forward with the shadow blade and I'm going to drive it into the water. Oh, yeah. Will you attack? Assuming that it is an attack roll, of course. It is an attack roll. It is a 12. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Okay, then I will uh, bonus action stab it with my dagger. Two weapon fighting, baby. Yep. E. Uh, that is a 17. That hits. Why can I hit with the fucking good one? Okay. Sorry, man. Um, <laughs> Wait, I was just going to say, doesn't he have an advantage because of the help? Oh. I do. No. I, uh, Laura should have had advantage. Uh, okay, oh. well, we kind of forgot about that, so I'll just say that you have the advantage now, so that we still use it. Up. Yeah. Just okay, do that. so am I so, counting this roll for my shadow blade, or am yeah, I rolling your shadow blade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my bad. I forgot. Okay. About that. We all kind of forgot about that. That's fine. Yeah. That's I better. Okay. Uh, it's. I mean, it's first session with new characters. Um, that is a. I haven't played. I haven't DM'd in months, so I gotta get back. <laughs> no. Oh God. Twenty-two with the shadow blade. Uh, yeah. So. I'll do Shadow Blade damage first and then a dagger. Is there. Do I have enough dice for this? Mm -hmm. Level 3, I fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hope so! If you don't have enough dice for something that you can do at level 3, we're gonna have to have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> How, how'd you get through the last game? It was just me making. I don't the have many dice, dice out at the moment. Over and over and over again. I don't I mean, that's what I'm doing for my D6s. Okay, yeah, that is uh, 13 points of psychic damage. Oh, psychic damage? Yep, the Shadow Blade does psychic damage. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Is it still alive? Yes. Then I stab it with my dagger. It is looking bloody to do. And I do... As in, okay, well, I guess uh, in this case, looking bloody is not the way to say it. It's just the swarm has shrunk over half of its size. Okay. Uh, that's six yeah. points of piercing damage with my dagger. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there's only there's only f very few snakes left in this uh, in the second swarm. So um, therefore, it does l no damage because it's super low, right? Hee <laughs> hee. I mean, you hee hee, but that is how that works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. That I'll take it. Yeah, it's a fun one. Like, I want to die to snakes. Swarms have two damage tiers essentially. When they're over half HP and when they're under half HP, because logistically, less animals, so less damage. Basically. Um, so they just reversed my boss tiers for Ludwig. Hades. It's Duke. Okay, oh, okay. it is me. That is you. you sure it's not Logan? Um, <laughs> I heard my I, I'm, <laughs> I'm in melee oh, with damn it. Logan, the snakes, <laughs> but they're also in melee with uh, Elias. So Elias would have sneak attacks yes. if you. Uh, if I just go for a sword, short sword stab, yeah. swing. Yes. Um, Absolutely. See here. All right, I'll just hack into the swarm of snakes. I guess bow in one hand, and I'll just go. Yeah, fair. Mm. Oh, 19 to hit. That hits. Four, nine, ten plus three. 13 points of damage. How do you want to finish him off? Ooh. Nice. Like, um, I don't even know. Just getting a little carried away, maybe, as I'm just, like, hacking repeatedly until it's just, like, just a little remnants of snake floating on the surface of the water. As you as you do that, uh, Morgat kind of comes walking from behind uh, some foley's that, that he kind of took over in. I, I, I think they're dead! Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, shit! I'm gonna what are you doing? the corpse. I don't f fight! You're gonna search, you find snake meat. It's snake meat. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm I don't fight. I'm just gonna yell I... out. Um, if you if you find my crossbow bolt while you're out there and it looks it looks salvageable, just pick that up for me. Oh, Seventeen comes running at you. Too. Comes running at you right. with with uh, hands you crossbow. <laughs> Found it. Oh, nice. Thank you. Put it back. I uh, dry it off and then put it back in there. Um, cool. like, well, take it. um. Yeah. Now that we're here, do you want to, uh, we, we could hop on the raft and have a bit of a breather? Maybe a bit of a, you know, short amount gonna... of, of time to catch our breath before we keep going? Because I reckon we have about another five, six miles to go before we reach a place to make camp uh, that is a bit more dry. So, should we be able to do that before nightfall? 
Okay. I'm gonna Seems search for reasonable. quartz while they're making their way over. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that after the break because I gotta quickly go walk Break. my dogs and stuff. So we're gonna take a break here first. It feels All so right. good to be playing D&D again with I'm you guys. So oh my god. Not, not I've made like such a cool time. character by accident. We're not are, taking like a short character's rest. Character's taking in... short rest while we are taking we are? a break. Yes. Lightning breath back, baby. Um, so That's we'll good. be back after uh, the break, gamers. Uh, make sure to follow the Dungeon Select Twitter. Join the Dungeon Select Reddit. Uh, sub to the YouTube. Oh this shit. vault will be up on YouTube whenever Bell has time to do it. Especially... Uh, Couple of yeah. days. We asked about how cool Shadowblade is as a spell. And especially join the subreddit so you can see all the Jeez. really cool character art as we release it in detail. Because it's going to oh, be yeah. There we go. There's all the links. Uh, we'll be back in 10 ish minutes. I got to quickly go let my dogs out for a pee. So. Okie dokie. You're back, gamers. Look Dokies after folks. them. Thank you. 
Do, 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 do. Okey Yeah, yo. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking around through that Looky break. Looky here, boys. <laughs> Looky here, boys. Um, thanks for sticking around through that break. A uh, bit of an extended one because uh, I had to walk my doggos. Gave me time to smoke. And I had a little smoke on the way. Yup. Um, <laughs> Any Rizzlers? Chat? Lost Union and Robin, thanks for the follows. We appreciate that shit a lot. Be the real ones. Um, let's get back to it. Let's just fucking hop right in, I guess. Yes, sir. So, after having uh, defeated the two swarms of poisonous snakes, you all decide uh, to catch your breath for uh, uh, an hour or so uh, on this raft, uh, accompanied by the corpse of a dead uh, Dwendalian soldier. Oh, as soon as as soon as whoever was done picking through the corpse, I'm kicking off the raft, hundred percent. Okay. Um, that was me. Rather worn. Roll an That's investigation me. check, please. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, oh, 18. 18. Now I roll well. Hey, you find uh, that this dead soldier has still semi okay looking chainmail that you deem is probably still usable. Um, you also find a mildewed pouch containing uh, 15 silver pieces. Oh, um. And a tarnished shield emblazoned with the Dwendalian crest. Um, you also uh, spot the soldier's long sword uh, jutting up from the slimy bottom of the swamp, along with the scattered skeletal remains of at least two more dead travelers. Interesting. I'm just taking the money. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're all sitting down for a short rest, right? Hi. And so before we sit down, I'm going to uh, draw the shadow blade back in, and the shadows are going to flow almost like a liquid back up my sleeve. Okay. Uh, you. And cool. then, yeah, it's a great spell. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to just check my inventory real quick. Okay. Make sure that everything I have is there and nothing unexpected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um. I'm going to use Arcane Recovery during the short rest. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Um, the thing I messaged you about, by the way, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're just going to let me know at some point. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Cool. Um, as you um, kick off the corpse off the raft, uh, Ludwig, after Ravenmorn mm -hmm. is done rifling through its uh, pockets, you all... Unless there's something specific you want to do on the short rest, you um, you rest up, and Morgid gets oh. up first. Oh, I want to ask Ravenborn and be like, so that whole that whole comment about the your your thing being better better now. You said something that implied that the the whole amphibious thing was was like new. Care care to elaborate? Just I'm just I'm very curious. Oh, you mean how, like, how I wasn't always a frog? Yes, exactly. You weren't always a frog? Nah, 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 nah. I used to be a halfling. Oh, fascinating. Again, and the, the journal and the, 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 the quill comes back out. <laughs> so, but... so describe, describe the transformation, please. Well, I kind of pissed off Archbay by accident, and said some shit about like, oh, what are you gonna do? Turn me into a frog? And then they turn me into a frog. That's, um, interesting. Mm, jokes on them, though. It's much better this way. I am not going back. Mm -mm. Doesn't be. Really I seem mean, like you have a choice anyway, right? From... Do you, do you yeah. happen to know the, the name of said, said Archfey? Or was it just, 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 just a general? Like, they were just there. I mean, I knew it once, but now I kind of just forgotten. It wasn't really Do you think they important. made you forget? This, this is fascinating. Maybe. I don't know. Just don't think it was important enough. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry, that swamp air. Okay, well that's magic can be. That is quite intriguing. Okay. You're just lucky they turned you into this kind of frog, not like you know a little, a little toad, just a boring old little thing. Yeah, you or, mean um, like one of those never, uh, you ever heard of, Walt Disney of, of, of Bully ones? theater productions? 
better a toad or a frog than a hobgoblin. Oi! Hey. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Okay, that was a little rude. I'm just, I'm just poking a bit of fun. Hmm? I thought, given that he was closest in your height, you'd have some form of kinship. So that's what one would expect, but... <laughs> anyway, no. um... I'm good now. We have, um... About five more miles uh, in us before the sun starts setting, so let's get to him. Let's get walking. Or swimming. And, um, Morgid right. 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 guides you uh, further southwest. Are we continuing on foot? Yes. Oh, okay. Are we taking I the raft? I used the raft. Uh, no, the raft is kind of. Uh, is it like fixed in place? Yeah. It, it kind of just like got jet. consumed, mm. similar as. Kind of in a similar way where you hear, hear these stories about the, the, the tower slowly sinking deeper and deeper. And combining that with what Morgan said that, oh, the marsh likes this, the marsh likes that. You get a sense that the marsh kind of just claims whatever and whoever spends enough time in it. And uh, right. it has already slowly begun kind of sucking, uh, making the raft sit in place and not really... Oh able to like some tree some tree roots kind of go go over it and go through it and it's it's the marsh's uh rafts now essentially the marsh knows <clears throat> okay. okay um anyway let's get going and you uh yeah you travel southwest uh, let me quickly get a die out hold on mm. Um, okay. Uh, again, anyone with a passive uh, perception of 12 or higher. Mm -hmm. Me. You... Everyone, but more. As you travel in a southwestern direction, you hear from behind some, some, some bushes and thickets. Mm. Is it a spoken language, or is it just guttural? It just sounds like... Guttural groans to you. Morgan, what's that noise? Um. Let's keep going. What's that noise, Morgan? Well. Alright. Well. Um. See how, um. Okay. Well. Let's just say that some of the things that die in this marsh. Um. They don't stay dead. Let's keep moving. That's what I thought. I will uh, keep an eye to our, to our backs. If Can anyone sees moving? any undead, just let me know. I've got it covered. Okay. With pleasure. Oh. Um, and you, uh, you keep going until um, you reach... You all can already see through, um, like, up, sticking out above some of the, the bushes and, and lower trees uh, in a bit of a clearing. You can see the same large carcass, the, the, the rib cage that was depicted on the map. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're coming up on to um, the sunken boneyard. Um, Excellent. And as you kind of uh, travel... The fog parts ahead to reveal the skull and bones of giant beasts rising from the marsh like a collection of morbid monuments. As you draw near, you spy three horizon-back tortoise skulls beneath the shadow of a gargantuan ribcage at the center of this boneyard. Um, you also see in the, sh un in the shadows of, of, of this uh, boneyard six lizard folk, seven lizard folk, one of which seemingly wielding a staff of some sorts. Um, just kind of vibing. They seem to have taken up some sort of temporary residence in uh, over here. Um, and you're not sure what, what they do and if they're hostile or not, but... Uh... Beanie Big Dumb, but hmm? Elias not. Can I remember what languages lizard folk would speak? Uh, I think they just speak lizard folk. They speak Draconic. Oh! Hey. Would I know this in character? Mm, what's your intelligence? Uh, Would I know? This? Nineteen. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I will. 
I mean, we can go stealthily, but we. I could just. I kind of hope that this will be our campsite for the night. The sun's already starting to set. How about I just ask them if we can share their campsite? No. Why? Do you have bad experiences? I think they they don't seem like they're doing anything wrong. I think that's okay. Well, lizard folk. Um, I I think that one with the staff. Um. He goes by the name of Skrasorsk, and um, they kind of, uh, I've never seen him here before longer than a few minutes, because this is kind of a place of worship to them, but uh, it seems well, that they've made away. their time here a little more semi-permanent, and I don't think this is a good idea. Have you ever seen them do anything oh, negative oh. other than come here and wash it? Mm, not, if, what if I tell them we're sacrifice. here to? What if I just tell them we're here to worship too? You know, and we'll just we're gonna oh, spend uh, the night, and and then we'll no. go on our way tomorrow. I, I don't like the sound of that. You know, me neither. That's like you know when like the youths are wearing tunics for bards that they don't listen to, and people start asking, "What? Oh, what ballads? Do you know this ballad? Name this ballad. What's your favorite ballad?" <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. I don't want to get quizzed on some weird ancient <laughs> lizard folk god Maybe anytime should... soon. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly well versed on, on deities. I could probably pass a pop quiz. Maybe we should do well to avoid them, but if we do end up interacting with them, well, it's if you're nice hoping to know camp here, what else? What other option do we have? Do we have I pull out the map, the camp? copy of the map he gave mm-hmm. me. Could we? Could we make it to the tower and camp in part of the tower that's above ground? Oh, no, you no, said that's sinking, not a, that's not a five but... hours of travel away. We'll be traveling in the middle of the night. I don't think that's a good idea oh. on this one. This is. I could, um, but what would your suggestion just... be, Morgid? Um. Well, I think you can take them. Let's take them. But if no, you... but then we can't. might as well talk to them anyway. Yeah. And if it ends badly, we'll kill them. I hey. approached. I'm a little like bit draconic as well. Tried to kill me. Okay. I don't. Okay, so you maybe guys. Maybe we um, good to go with diplomacy. You guys do the talking, and I'll be sitting here behind this bush. Wait till you do. Would you like some assistance with this, Ferris, or are you comfortable? Yes. Anymore? I mean, like the we've got the language thing, but I mean, I was never exactly the best talker. Uh, it was one of the reasons they I wasn't allowed to, you know, really perform any important rights uh back at the the temple of saren Ray or anything i mean it's it's not my strong suit but but i still think it's better than just attacking them Sounds to me it right might be away. better for you to stay here as well let them be talking but they don't speak the language i've done a, do. my fair share of talking I could at just, I could just translate. you speak lizard folk i could just I speak translate draconic. and you guys draconic, do, hey sorry. there we go then never mind do all three of you speak language. draconic yeah. Very well. Who is you the can't. most? You can't. You. <laughs> I can understand you it if you give me about. Pled. If you give me about ten minutes, I can understand it, but I won't be able to speak it. Although, hmm, I'm gonna pull out my spellbook and start flipping through. Okay. I don't know shit about lizard folk, but do they have like sleeves or anything? Maybe we could, I don't know, tie Morgan up or something like that and just stand huh? over. What? Maybe not. No. I what are you supposed talk? to be sitting no. back and like hiding or something? What if? We go talk? What if? What if we, we, you haven't left yet, dipshit? What if we trade them something? I if think it, we should converse first, and if it goes poorly, we'll simply kill them. I don't think they take okay. money. Um, I could just approach, acting like a frog, and see if they kill me. But, but when you, that's what, that's what do we do once you're dead? You. Yeah, well, who would we consider to be the most persuasive of us? Not oh. me. Absolutely me. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think we let Ludwig. From experience, lead, would I know we're... who is the most persuasive? I will pull out the fucking fifty gold advance that I got from the fucking ogre lord in the pouch and just give that a little jingle. That's a good point. Yeah, do, he makes he makes a strong. Do, do we reckon that in the past Ludwig would have done most of the talking? Yes. Yes. Homie's a barkeep. Okay, is he actually charismatic? To us. Yeah. Mastermind rogue, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> come here, Ludwig, for a moment. Oh, here come the here come the natural ones. Oh, oh no, we've tempted fate. Uh, I am going to spend one minute um, 
I'm going to get out my uh, spell components oh. and using uh, some paint, I'm going to mark a, a geometric symbol across his forehead. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to hold out a white pearl to it, and both the pearl and the paint are going to disappear completely. And I cast Fortune's Favor. Mm, and then okay. I'll also I'll also tell Ludwig. Oh, by the way, right before we go in, or right before you think you're going to say anything like important, maybe just like give me a little a little elbow or come up with some signal because I can just give you I can just give you a little boost magically. You know, just give you some help right before. It only All lasts right. a minute though, so it, it's time right. sensitive. Okay, um, so you know how fortune's favor, uh, right. between any point in the next hour, you can choose to end the spell to roll an additional d20, and then you choose which one to use. Okay, so or, I, can, I can burn the buff like, to get advantage. Yeah. No, because because if you roll with advantage already, you then roll another oh. d20, and you choose between the two with advantage or the secondary roll. You essentially roll an extra dice, and that yeah. is right. another okay. option for you. Uh, you can also it's use it to. Uh, you can also, if uh, someone tries to attack you, you can dismiss it to make them roll, and you can choose. Uh, no, sorry. You can dismiss it. You roll a d20, and then you choose whether it uses your roll or Dutch's roll. Right. Okay. It's Basically, cool. it's a chance to redo something. Or yeah, it's been more complicated. For but yeah, some that's reason. the mechanics of it. Timey wimey stuff. Wibbly time is a soup. Yeah, time wobbly, is a weird timey wimey. Yeah, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. According to Exandria Unlimited, time <laughs> yeah. is a soup. <clears throat> it's a weird Stop. soup, specifically. What do I know about lizard folk, I want to? Uh, what is your can intelligence? I... Tastes great I... with 11. Paprika. 11. Make an intelligence check. Okay. And can I, can, if I know he's going to talk, can I, uh, being the, like, just avid researcher that I am, just quickly, like, try and tell him anything and everything I know about lizard time. folk? <laughs> Cause I literally have a a fate a feat a background feature called researcher. I rolled a seventeen for my intelligence check. You know Ooh. that lizard folk, um, definitely not a social bunch. Mm -hmm. Definitely hostile most, if not all, of the time. The Territorial, very. I'm gonna have a little look around. Is there anything that they've done to sort of mark a boundary of like what they would consider their territory here? Make a perception check. Blood would explain oh what he's doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I assist him? Sure. What does that do? Uh, I'll give advantage. you advantage. Uh, do... I'm helping you. Uh, dirty 20. Um, you don't see any visible, uh, like, clear-cut signs of, like, this is our territory, this is not. Uh, it, mm -hmm. It's kind of up to... Up, you gather that it's probably, you know, they'll decide what they deem is their territory and whatnot. And... So, there's big skulls. Yes. Tortoise skulls. Yeah. And one other big skull. No, there's three big horizon back tortoise skulls, so the same tortoises that carry uh, yeah. Urzin uh, on, on, on mm -hmm. their backs. Uh, and there's just this giant fuck-off ribcage sticking out of the ground, belonging to a beast larger than life. No idea what, what uh, that used to belong to. Are they particularly close to any one of these things in particular? Uh, they're currently all kind of sitting in the shade uh, under the ribcage. All right, so... <clears throat> uh, I don't know... I think the... The best approach here is to go sort of skirt around as far from the ribcage as we can sort of go. And if they start maybe causing a fuss, then we'll open a dialogue and try and say, wait, wait, we're just on our way through. Don't mind us. Because uh, yeah, what I've heard the lizard folk, not a friendly bunch. Can we, we just have... camp in like the, the yeah, like they haven't seen us yet. But we it's have right here, else okay? To camp. Yeah, like, can we can we not just camp here, like, we're on the edges of this drier area? We're, we're in, like, knee-deep water. Oh, okay. You are. Fortunately. <laughs> Morgan well, reckons there's nowhere within reasonable distance we could camp. So, it's us or them, pretty much. It's either they learn to share, Unless, or they yeah, they learn to share. Right. Well, they eat so, fire. 
We'll just make it clear that we have no permanent desire to claim any of this land. We'll we bring Sharon them. to the lizard we'll people just, of the swamp. It's... You know, we're just gonna sleep on this tiny I'm corner. More than happy to initiate dialogue land. by stabbing them, but we can. I I don't see how we lose any. The only thing we're really losing is the element of surprise. So. I'm at a bit of a, a dilemma because we either look as non-threatening as possible as to not provoke them and maybe they'll just give us a little bit of, you know, a patch, a corner to sleep or we appear as dangerous and threatening as possible so that they don't want to mess with us. Why don't we do a bit of both and have like a couple of people hiding out around the edges in case something goes wrong and a couple people just go in looking as harmless as anything. I would vote that we look as intimidating as possible. Lizard folk, from what I know, tend to have more of a tribal structure which would indicate... They'll respect strength, they're... right? Yes, absolutely. Well... Got a disguise All right, then. kit, but maybe if the frog gets on my shoulders, we could look a little bit more threatening. And they're lizards, not children. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on my own. I'm just a frog. We're not particularly threatening looking. We have mm. huge eyes. It's kind of an offset. Fairly threatening to lizards with small eyes. We pretend <laughs> the frog is our dinner for later. And our prisoner, and then we look real scary. Yeah, I can just lie on someone's idea. back like I'm dead. <laughs> play you, dead. Classic. I wouldn't like no, to strip dead. you of. Your, I wouldn't like to strip you of your gear to make that work. Because if it doesn't yeah, work, cool. I don't. I don't need any gear. I just need my little crystal. How sneaky it. does the uh, the hobgoblin look? Ah, uh, he's great. He's already stabbed us four times in the back that we haven't noticed. <laughs> Uh, let me check real quick. Hold, hold the door. How stealthy? Hmm. Not very. I'm. Mm. I'm not to your level. A bunch of bear traps and all the all the shit. Well, I'm not um, your level of stealthy, but I am reasonably adept at avoiding sight. If there's going to be a battle, I want to rig it in our favor. I just don't quite know how. Um, we have these traps. That's what I'm thinking. That's Set uh, them up in, know, the, maybe... in, in the bushes, maybe, and try and pull a couple of them over? Did they look... What uh... if we placed them in the water at the <laughs> edge where they wouldn't be able to see them? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. You've, you've given me a great idea. Oh. So I want to... Okay. From from like what we could see, mm -hmm. did it one did it look like they were armed with melee weapons? A staff. Other than the staff, because you know staff could mean a spell cast. That's not much hope. Give me a second. And two, would I be able to get close to them enough that I would um, be able to listen you, into the conversation? You roll pretty high in your. Did you roll perception check for to earlier? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah when so, I looked around, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, they seem to be wielding uh, some kind of like club, and uh, have they? They also have like a, like a spiked shield in one arm. Okay. Interesting. Um, would I? Does it look like there's anywhere nearby them that I could hide and maybe overhear them for a little while? Um, you're in a pretty big clearing. The only cover you have here is a variety of like large like animal skulls and bones that. You could try to like kind of sneak from from skull to skull or from like bone to bone to kind of a little closer. Yeah, you can you can try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we trying to listen in on them or get the drop on them. I think if maybe I can. I guess we're. It sounds like we're just abandoning all hope of diplomacy at this point. No, we're we're still we're just if reading the outcome. If I can listen outcome. in wait, wait, for just we're going with a minute or two, I can, I, I can I, I can perfectly impersonate one of them. That's terrifying. That's pretty dope. <laughs> At least I think if I can find the right... Oh, oh dear ability. Yeah, I can unerringly mimic the speech patterns and accent of a creature I hear speak for at least one minute. So... But they're still going to recognize that you're a dwarf. Not if they don't see me. You're going to be an invisible lizard folk. 
well, what if I, like, yell or something and make them run or make them go somewhere or we put some traps down and lure them out and... That would work. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. So if I can just get a little close listening for a minute, maybe put some traps down while I'm on the way, come back, call out. Just don't get spotted. Ah, well, well... I may, have, I may have been a tad sneakier in my younger days, but we are, I'm sure I still got it. You still like have. I said, just before you do anything you, you want to boost well. on, just let me know and I can give you a little little magical nudge. A little magical marijuana. Can you give me a magical oh. nudge and sneak? Well, that sounds like yeah. a massive innuendo. Uh, yeah, okay, if you're about to go sneak, I can, I can do it now. All right, so I'll cast Guidance on and oh. Pat... Ludwig on the back and cast guidance so you get for the next minute a d4 <clears throat> to an ability check of your choice so that would include stealth check. okay so Eight. again I would like to sneak mm -hmm. best I can towards where they are hiding or, or, or camping Roll and on the way check. as sneakily yeah. as I can place two bear traps on sort of out of view but on the path between us and them uh, I mean, like, definitely, as you're still, like, in, in, in water, like, it's a little, oh, fuck my ass. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little less, uh, it's, it's a little a more little shallow, shallow but there's still ass. definitely, like, a good foot of water, uh, so you could very easily kind of, like, so play some so that they don't sealed. initially. I'm uh, just gonna have to remember where they were. Yeah. So I got a 12 on my stealth check. Okay. Was that with Are the you... guidance? Yep. Oh, boy. You do have Fortune's Favor. Love that. Yeah, okay, I'm going to use Fortune's Favor. Don't fuck this up. Or Does that include... Do I reroll the Guidance, or do I keep the same roll for the Guidance? Or? It's just the D20. So, as so in, like, it replaces... Okay. The Guidance stays the same. You just replace your D20 with yeah, it if you so want that's to. That's a 15 on stealth. Oh! Yeah. You that place was the thing. traps and yeah. uh, get closer uh, to over here. Never again. Uh, no conversation. It seems that these six lizard folk are sitting on the floor, and uh, their uh, shaman, their their leader, the seventh lizard folk there, says Cynic requires no sacrifice. This is in Draconic. Tomorrow, you find sacrifice. And the, the other six, the other six lizard folk, just nod in in, in agreement. So that we may have a Lord's blessings. That's what you pick up. Okay. Go. Say I was listening for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna slink my way back to okay. the party, making sure I don't stand in my own bear trap. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you, put that, you just put them down like a couple minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I remember where they are. They're looking for a sacrifice, so maybe now's not the best time to try diplomacy. Unless, oh, you know, okay. they're gone. Yeah, they might just want to. But then it means they couldn't. And maybe it's a good time to fight them then because they wouldn't kill all of us because they'd want to keep one of us as the sacrifice. Oh, yes. That sounds brilliant. Let's fight them because at least I mean... if we lose, one of us will survive until tomorrow. Well, no, it means they're going to hold back. It means they're going to hold back, and we can take advantage of that. Right, here's what Only we do. on one of us, the three other three, they're going to run through. I mean, let's they don't all, even have weapons. Come on. Let's all hide around, you know, sort of this area, and I'll shout in their language. You know, I've sort of got the, got the knack for it now. I'll call out, oh, I've found a sacrifice or something like that. See if they come running. There's two traps out there in that swamp they'll never see. Maybe get two of them. There's quite a few of them, though. But it might give us the upper hand. Especially if they don't know where we are. And then we pounce from the... The shadows. That might work, you know. Okay. okay. So, right, every, everybody get your heads down. Find somewhere to hide. I'll call out. Is there, like, are there, are there trees above us? Uh, yeah, there's a bit of like a, a canopy of, uh, like above you, yes, but as you get closer, if you go closer to the, like the boneyard is kind of like in, in a clearing, in an opening, with no yeah. like trees above it or whatever. 
Where we are, can I just leap up onto one of the branches? Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna do that. How high can you leap? I can go... Wait, let me check. Teenage Mutant Ninja Frogman. Teenage Mutant Ninja Frogman. Uh, 25 feet. Yeah, easily. Yeah. I want to try and find a tree to hide behind, but position myself so I can have as many of them in a 30-foot line as possible. Okay. <laughs> so wherever that would be at your discretion. If that means, like, circling around a bit away from the group or something. All right. <clears throat> If Faberus was like nose deep in the wall, would it look like a crocodile? A blue Maybe. crocodile. A blue one. <laughs> blue crocodiles happen all the time in your house, don't you know? <laughs> a crocodile and Okay, night. so you're all in position. Johas, land of the blue crocodile. Mm. What do you do, Ludwig? Uh, I will, um. Well, preparing to immediately sort of dash into a. I don't know, a bush or behind a tree or something. I'll stand roughly so that I, you know, the route that I took, so I know where the bear traps are, sort of relative to where they were, and I'll just yell out in their weird lizard folk draconic. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a sacrifice. I have found a sacrifice. And I'll and then I'll scurry away okay. in, behind a tree. Make a make a deception check. Ooh. Ooh. It's charisma based. Yeah, any bonuses fine? for mimicking them? Like, is that a thing as part of your? Roguish shit. No, I, no bonuses. It's just that I. It's. You, you can just. It's do very, it. very good imitation. I mean, let me let me read it again. Yeah, I can just unerringly mimic speech patterns and accents. It's a twelve okay. on the deception. You, as you're all kind of like, you dive back into a bush, and the others are kind of looking to see what the response is. The, sh the shaman with the staff gets up and kind of make some motions, and you see three of the lizard folk uh -oh. running into the direction uh, where the sound came from. Two of which just whoosh, chick, get stuck in, in a bear trap. You just hear this loud, Aah! Oh, God. As they stop, and then the third one turns back and just looks at and is very confused. Roll initiative, all of you. Oh, oh. oh baby. baby, let's go. I have oh, no yeah, idea what bear traps do in D&D, but I'm just uh, glad that I had some. Uh, D4 piercing damage, and they are uh, restrained. <laughs> Do you want me to roll the damage? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see, uh, have a chain, blah, blah, blah. D4 piercing damage and stop moving. Thereafter, until the creature breaks free of the trap, its movement is limited by the length of the chain, so it only has like three feet of movement. Nice. First um, one is two damage and the second one is four. Okay, uh, and a creature can use this action to make a DC strength 13 strength check, freeing itself, but for every failed attempt, it deals one point of piercing damage to himself. Nice. Nice. I like it. So one was two and one was four? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Initiatives, um, 20 plus. Hi. Okay, what's your roll? So uh, I rolled an 18 on my d20. Uh-huh. And a seven on my d8, because Gift of Alacrity just lasts. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have a 32. Good 32. lord. Level three, by the way. Level three, by the <laughs> way. Look, time is my thing. That's true. That is true. All right, um, Elias. He's a bitch. Uh, 15 to 20? 15! 18. 15. God damn it. 15 for uh, Ravenholm. Laura? Nine. Nine? Nine! Uh, okay. Nine. Ooh, Nine. Okay. Seven lizard boys. Oh, I'm gonna just place my fucking page, god damn it. Seven lizard boys, we can have a lizard so jockey for tea. The lizards all, like, move in unison, just because there's That's fucking six of them. The only one separate will be, uh, the shaman. And then you're in that group cook. Make me mean frog leg. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your yeah. own frog leg? She rips her leg off Octana style how many frogs and... are around, man. <laughs> Okay. Rips her own leg off. Can't Elias. Steal it herself. <laughs> You're up. But you I see two so of good. these uh, lizard folk stuck in the bear traps. Uh, one lizard folk, like kind of with them, uh, but not in a trap. And there's three more under the rib cage, and also as a fourth being the the shaman with the staff. Uh, 
Um, so Elias, it is your turn. Bini! <laughs> I gave everyone else shit for it earlier, and then I did it. <laughs> Didn't recognize my character name. Hello. Hi. Uh, okay. The time we uh, them, we we'll positioned ourselves hidden, right? Yes. Are we actually hidden? Do we need to make stealth checks for that? Uh, I mean, they haven't seen you yet, so you kind of dove in some bushes. Okay, cool. Um, how far? Uh, if Could I have positioned myself to be within, like, 10, 15 feet of the first bear trap? Uh, mm, yes. 30 feet will do. Yes. Like, 30 feet, absolutely. 15 feet is a little close. Okay. Uh, I will move up from 30 feet to 15 feet. Mm -hmm. I will use my bonus action to uh, cast Shadow Blade again. Nice. And from this non-existent sheath, draw the Shadow Blade. Oh yeah. And then uh, while I'm moving, draw my... No. Okay. So I'll cast that. I'll, I'll move first and while I'm moving, pull my dagger out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold that in my left hand. Yes. Uh, I'm then going to use my right hand to look at the shaman. Okay. And I'm going to cast Mind Sliver, Ooh. Uh, which is a, an intelligent saving throw. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Oh, that's not good at all. Uh, yeah, that's a natural three, so it's gonna be a no. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, he takes... Four points of psychic damage. Okay. And must subtract 1d4 from its next saving throw. Alright. Very good. Uh, and then I'm gonna. As you kind cast of point your hand at it, you, could, you can just see it, like, with the one free hand that it has, like, grab, grab, grab his head and just kind of. Uh, he's, like, looking around, searching where this may come from, but seemingly not really knowing where cool. exactly. So I'm now 15 feet away from the guy in the bear trap. Uh. Or from the guys in bear traps. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my shadow blade. I have my dagger. That guy is weak to anything you have that has saves right now. Go mm -hmm. wild. Okay. That's my turn. The shaman is weak to saves? Uh, his next save, as long as it's before the end of my next turn. Yeah. His next saving throw has minus 1d4. Okay. Okay. Is that your turn? Yeah. Ludwig. Loosen an arrow at bear trap number one with advantage because he's restrained. Meaning I get sneak attack. Oh, wait a second. Fancy, fancy. Um, Unless. I've looked up restrained. It's any attack. It's not just melee. It is. Um. Yeah. Wait. Have a question. Unless he, the lizard has some ability. It's just attack rolls against. Okay. The creature. Uh, yeah. He's not technically restrained because. Isn't that what you said? No, that's what I thought. But then I read it, and uh, he has movement, but only three feet because that's the length of the chain. So that's the so then... he can move in. So he's not technically restrained. He can't go anywhere, but he's also technically not restrained because he has a very limited movement of three feet. He can still like move around yeah. and like duck and weave and Yeah. Well does he is he like does he have any condition or is it just No. He's just stuck in place. Then he can't move. He's just stuck in place. Confined to the same like square three feet, essentially. Okay. Well, will, but if you were hidden. True. Well, I suppose we all were hidden. Yes. Yes. So you still have to have an advantage. Well, then, on my first roll, it was a 15 and a 4, so I'll take the dirty 20, unless yeah. you have me roll again. All right. That's fine. In which case, fucking. Oh, man. Hmm? Bah. Fifteen points of piercing damage to the man in the bed. Right? No, yeah, this guy's already Whoa. looking fucked. This guy's already looking. Pfft. He's he's not looking good. There, he's got um, one leg in a bear he, trap. He does not his look other happy. hand is pinned to his neck. Yeah, just by one a leg stuck in a bear arrow. trap, and he's kind of still clawing at that. And just out of nowhere comes this arrow that just fucking <laughs> gets him like in the upper in the upper stomach. Just ouchie. And he's, yeah, he does oh. not look happy. Where are my relatives to the uh, shaman? Like how far away? Um, I'd say let's say forty-five feet. A lizard on a stick. Am I still technically hidden? 
Uh, you revealed yourself when you jumped out of the, like, okay. the shadows to shoot an arrow at the homies. So, okay, I'm going to try and sort of move back into obscurity and hide then as a bonus action. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Hunting actions. Oh, I keep forgetting how Ooh, broken ropes man. are. It's an, it's an, it'll, no, it's a 14, sorry, on the stealth. Okay. Right. right, that'll be my turn. All right, uh, Ravamorn. That's me. Mm. Rocky. Um, let's see. I'm gonna shoot a uh, fireball at the one in the trap. Oh, uh, there's two in traps. One of them just got shot by an arrow. The other one hasn't been done yet. The one that hasn't been damaged yet. Okay. Roll your attack. Seven to hit? Eleven. eleven. Oh, eleven. Uh, doesn't hit, unfortunately. So from the yeah, tree branches like comes shooting this fireballs that just slams into the, the murky water next to this lizard folk uh, in, in a bear trap. And he looks up to the branch where it came from and sees you sitting there on top of the branch. <clears throat> Anything else a you frog do? in a tree going, fuck, I missed. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? No. Okay. That's it. Uh, it is now uh, the shaman's turn. Scrap source. Well, talking about Faerus. And this shaman. Um, nah. Also saw the firebolt just fucking f zoom in from a tree branch, and that drew uh, his attention. And he is going to cast. Gonna be great. Um, gonna move a little bit out of the rip cage to, to make sure that uh, he's within 30 feet. Uh, and he's gonna cast blindness, blindness slash deafness yeah. on uh, on you, Ravenborn. My favorite spell. Mm. So I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Hooray! 22. 22? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you make the save. That's fucking holy shit. How do I only roll uh, good when so, I yeah, care? spell fails. That's 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 his turn. Uh, Ferris. Um, so before when I asked what well, we're getting in position to move so that I could get as many of them in a line as possible, or as, how many of them are still, like, who do I have, who's in range of that right now? If uh, any. The two in the trap and the one that isn't in the trap, it's standing with them. Okay. So three lizard folk, two of which are in bear traps, are in a okay. somewhat of a line if you like, you know. Okay. I'm so tempted to <clears throat> reposition just to get the shaman dude now because he would have the minus d4. But I'm like, but three. I could get three this way. I assumed with two casters someone would do something. I know, right? Uh, it's up to you, to Laura. Um, can I get the shaman and what other? No, because the, the shaman moved himself out of the ribcage to get to uh, to a range that it um, could uh, hit Ravamorn. Yeah, yeah, so with that, yeah, kind of yeah. completely outpositioned himself from any of his allies. Okay. I can make uh, it work. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna get go for the three I lined up for then, and okay. they have to make a dex save. I mean, the two in the bear traps can't. So. Oh <laughs> so, yeah, so then so even more reason to do this. Uh, so the one, one has to make a dex save. Rolls a ooh, thirteen. Plus zero, 13. That just makes it. So, so the two in the bear trap take six damage. lightning damage, which is the full, and okay. the one that makes it would take three. Three? It right. gets a little crackle of the lightning. Um, the one that has already been shot by an arrow by Ludwig. Uh, lightning damage, right? Your, your blue dragon? Lightning line? damage, yeah. As you belt out this just line of lightning energy, and the flashing kind of subsides. You see that where there was one lizard folk in a trap with an arrow in his stomach is now nothing but Crispy. just a, a blackened, grilled lizard that is just on the well, floor. Well, there we like, go. One I made dinner. One trap, but dead as hell. Delicious. I made dinner for after. Dead as hell. Power oh, snacks. Got him. Anything else uh, uh, you wish to do? Um, how far is the shaman from me? Uh, from you now that it moved to, um, like, like, like 45 feet-ish. Okay, I will 
move 30 feet towards the shaman oh, well, with my half shield. Half because this is still difficult oh, okay. terrain. Yeah, yeah. I'll move 15 feet toward the shaman with my shield up and drawing my mace. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay, go, okay. Um, all right. It is now uh, all uh, the five remaining lizard folk are all going to go do something. So um, there's no one in melee with the guy in the trap, right? Nope. No, I'm 15 he's, feet away. He's going to try and fucking free himself. I'm in a tree. And I'm fail. In a tree. So he takes <laughs> one piercing damage for attempting to break himself out and failing. That ah, is his turn. Idiot. Um, Ludwig revealed himself when he shot the arrow, so the lizard folk... But he hit again. Oh, he did hide it again. did, but not very well. Lizard folk is going to try and see if you can see where Ludwig went. No. So Ooh. that lizard folk that is at the trap is going to try and break out his buddy. Fuck it. And also yeah, fails, so that guy just takes another point of piercing damage. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Let God, me help God. you! <laughs> Snaps it back on his leg. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's both their turns. The three lizard and folk... And the terror radius go crazy. <laughs> the three lizard folk under the ribcage still just bolt it to, their, to the shaman and form like a circle around him to kind of like some to offer some form of protection all right and that is their turns oh. uh, elias may i have a suggestion diplomacy after we kill half of them uh, i'm gonna walk forward uh i'm gonna approach uh the guy in the bear trap and the one that attempted to assist him yeah uh is it getting fairly dark right now we were getting ready to make camp right it's the sun is setting yeah would this be considered dim light or darkness not, not quite yet, no. Like, the sun okay, is still fine. very much visible. I had slowly... to try. I had to try. Rinna Marshy fucking chill. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're also okay. clearing, so that makes it so that the sunset is pretty, like, you know. The... Yeah. Mm. If I go completely under the water no. and just stab his legs, no. is that considered dim light? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I Stop. am going to swing the shadow blade. At the uh, in fact, the one in the bear trap. Is he looking fucked or? The guy in the bear trap is yeah, is looking bloodied. Like murder. Bloodied. Bloodied. A little as bloodied as good, or like as good as you'll get. That's he's it. looking bloodied. Okay, fuck it. Show of dominance. Show of force. I'm gonna go for his okay. throat with a shadow blade. Okay. What is that? Fifteen. Just hits. Fuck yeah. Uh, I need you and you. He tries to put his arm up that, is, that still has the shield on it, and you manage to just kind of get over his shield and just jam the Shadow Blade uh, in his throat. 8 and a 7, 15. 15, 15 points, points of, damage. of psychic damage. Yeah, and as you jam the Shadow Blade in his throat, you can see his arms just weaken and, and drop. He drops to his knees, and as you pull the Shadow Blade out, he just fumbles over. I'm gonna pull the shadow blade out and then I'm gonna duck down. I'm gonna put my dagger in the ankle of the guy next to him. Okay. That is a. Uh... What's my fucking dagger to hit? Uh, 18? 18? That hits. <clears throat> Excuse uh, me? This is much less, but. Uh, that is five points of piercing damage. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, it's damage. Every little thing helps. Yeah, exactly. Boom, boom. So you you jam your dagger into the that ankle of, of the other lizard folk there, and he kind of like instinctively as a reaction raises his leg up and just gonna. Kind of, um, it does nothing because that's not how turn order works. Smile. I'm um, gonna smile at him. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. I'll stay there, Ludwig. I'm gonna f from my hidden position loose an arrow at the shaman. Okay. Shame. Natural 20. Nice. Fuck yeah. I On was a gonna, sneak I, attack. I was going to roll to see if uh, you would hit one of his protectors, because that's kind of the mechanic, but because you roll a natural 20, you just, you just straight up hit the guy. All right. So I double all the dice here? Yeah, including the sneak attack, because yeah. you were hidden. Yep. All right. All these fucking guys are crowding around the shaman to protect him. They're going to turn around. He's dead. And he just, with he's, an arrow he's through just his eye. fucking sniped. <laughs> yeah, They're all dude. there protecting him. They turn around. He's just there like... It's the sex number. All 69! Right. 33 Yay. points of piercing oh. damage. 33? From the... 33. 15 on the dice times 2 and then plus 3. Holy shit. Oh. You watch as you let loose the arrow. And as this crowd of three lizard folk just 
circle around their leader trying to protect them. You calculate that in your in your shots, and you're like, okay, they're moving at this pace, they're constantly circling around them, taking the wind into into the the equation as well, and you let loose the arrow, and it just flies and almost curves around the head of one of the lizard folk and just go, jams itself straight into the shaman's throat as it's as he drops his staff and just with both hands <laughs> and just falls over and dies i will use my bonus action to just shout in their weird tongue your leader is dead flee <laughs> make, make an intimidation check do you oh, do? i think i win these <laughs> Mm -hmm. I should hope so. We just killed their leader and fucking you know, bad my Spotify guys, just randomly so. pauses my shit. Nope. To play oh, yeah. When your Discord, yeah. when your Discord is transmitting for over thirty seconds, Spotify will pause if they're connected. So you just have to oh, unlink them. Oh, that's fucking cringe. Okay, hold on. There's a sixteen on my intimidation though. Okay. That's so stupid. I've never had that happen. Okay. Uh -oh. Um. Ah. Oh, and I can't fix that because I've streamer mode on. Sick dude. Mm. Mad. Um, okay. You yell that, and these lizard folk start booking it, dude. They book it in different directions. Yeah. They are out. All right, they're, baby. They're um, Elias, you, you do get an attack opportunity on the guy that's within your melee, but he's also in the process of just fucking booking it. Okay. Guess what I can use as a melee weapon for attack opportunity? The Shadow Blade. Do it nice. oh. Natural one. <laughs> you like swing at him and just drop the Shadow Blade and you kind of like lose it for a second and you have to like sift through the murky water and by the time you get up... I don't even bother. I bonus action teleport it to my hand, but there you go. I'm pissed at myself. <clears throat> oh, you know what? For me. I can make this decision after I see whether the roll succeeds or fails. I'm going to be a cunt. Oh. Chrono Shift. Redo. Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking redo. Nice. Okay. Uh, natural 14. So. That does hit. That does uh, hit. Okay, cool. Uh, what could this guy in particular? 14 points of uh, psychic damage. 14? Yeah, I rolled double sevens. Yeah, he had 14 HP. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't even. This guy doesn't even oh, get a amazing. chance to run away. As he turns his back to you and starts running, you just jam the Shadow Blade through his back. And it like protrudes out, out of his chest, and as you pull it out, he just. And I really how many, how many that, even got away? Uh, three of them. Three of, the three agree. that were protecting the shaman, they just booked it. Yep. Um, or like I just fucking process, quick saved and reloaded to do that again. We're going to uh, leave initiative here, and as Morgan kind of sees what happened, comes from out of the, the thicket. Never doubted you. No, what? I only have one eye, but it's a good eye. I, I mean, like this. I want to know if he's lying. <laughs> roll an insight check. And I don't need dinner. to roll an insight neck check. I know he's lying. I'm, I <laughs> gesture to the crispy lizard from the lightning. I <laughs> oh. think I'll pass. Never eaten lizard before, but toasted in salt water is not though. exactly my favorite. Oh. Four? Yeah. Natural twenty. That never, no, no doubt in, in, in his mind at all. You believe him, full, fully believe him. Never doubted him for a second. You are so sure that he had never has never doubted you. You're trying to starting to doubt yourself for even thinking he wasn't <laughs> genuine. Morgan would I never mean, lie to you on anything ever. Exactly. No. Can I retrieve my my two bear traps? Just having uh, an yeah. identity crisis. Okay. Morgan, I want you to take this. I mean this in the most friendly manner I can. Yes. And I want you to, I want to assure you this is not a threat. However, seeing what we just did to them, mm -hmm. please don't have any thought of absconding with any of our valuables or betraying us in any way while we're alone and reliant on you for direction. Fuck, dude. Why would you put that why idea you... in my head? <laughs> why, mm. why? You've come here before with other adventurers. Mm -hmm. There's always a possibility. I, like I didn't have, in no, my I do have that idea, so you corrupt him. So if I do, it's your fault. I mean, if you do it, you'll be like that guy. We outnumber him. I'm gonna just kick the body of the lizard next to me. Mm, I would be, be, be scared, but whatever you do to me is pales in comparison to what my lord will do to me if I fail. So perfect. We have an accord then. Don't worry. Anyways, camp time. 
and I'm literally gonna camp team. Go look at camp the crispy team. lizard and see, and I want to see if it's done enough to eat right now, or do I have to continue roasting it? <laughs> make a make a survival check. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna follow. Is that a dragonborn eats? It's a lizard. It's, I'm a dragon. Yeah, it's more like a, it's more like a human eating like... bulk, where it's like yeah. the similarity. Like a human eating that. like monkey brains. Yeah, yeah, yeah like... a human eating okay. monkey. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll also eat some of the lizard stuff. I I rolled in the lizard. I mean, flavor wise, we're closer um, to bulk than monkey. Yeah, you mean you fried it up pretty good. I'll just eat from the outside bits. I'm not gonna go too deep anyway. Just I'm gonna be like, honestly, it's it's not bad. Anyone? I'm just gonna press the digitation it and make it taste nice. <laughs> Is it like streamy watery chicken? <clears throat> um, as you kind of uh, make make camp, um, where exactly are you, are you going? Under the rib cage? Are you going in the rib cage? Go in the rib cage. Natural fortification. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. When you get there, um, you see that um, the lizard folk had stacked uh, a, a bunch of skulls and bones there. Um, looking pretty humanoid in nature. Um, in, a, in, a, in, a little, in a little mound near the center of this ribcage. Um, which one of you has the highest passive um, perception? Not me. Uh, I, I fell, I think. Rather more. I have 14. 14. No, okay. Um, you do notice that, um, most of the clothing and equipment of these victims uh, has been cast aside or destroyed, uh, but you do see the gl you two do see a glint of something shiny among, among the bones. Hmm. Is it a spell scroll? <laughs> I don't know. Are you go is any of them going to check that out? I don't know what's I mean, that. I'm a, I'm a... I'm a I'm nom Greedy I'm road, nom yeah. some lizard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you I'll go just... closer and you notice. Uh, actually, make a perception check. Not good. That was not a good oh. look. Twelve. Okay. You f notice that one of the skulls has two gold teeth in it. In its mouth. Ooh. I um. I'll. You know. I guess find uh, pliers or something in my thieves' tools and sure, just try and pry them free. Hopefully, without anyone taking too much notice. Okay. So you take the skull and you pry the two gold teeth out. Uh, the gold teeth are worth a gold piece each. So there you go. Oh. Just two extra gold, essentially. Nice. Um, Making gains out here. Hey. You also notice that the horizon back tortoise skulls uh, were kind of used as dwellings because they're very big, so they were kind of used as like little huts. Um, cool. sparsely decorated with some stone bedding and, and humanoid skull trophies. Um, Shadow. You also notice um, that uh, by that by those big skulls, which you would have walked past if you went to the to rip to the rip cage. Um, there's a little there's a little uh, basket, kind of like half sticking out the door. That, that seems interesting. Okay. I'll investigate the basket. Okay. You uh, roll an investigation check, first of all. Eleven. Okay. You find a small collection of holy symbols representing various gods. Mm, uh, a tarnished silver too, amulet of Theris Dune, which feels Say very silver? cold to the touch. I'll pocket that one. Okay. Uh, you also find a, a wand of some description. Okay. So, assorted holy symbols, a wand, and what was the special holy symbol or whatever? A, a tarnished silver amulet of Theris Doom. Right. Which feels very cold to the touch. Do I know what Theris Doom is? Um, Would you? Let me quickly... Um, What's your religion looking like? Are you proficient in religion? No. Then no. Okay. Ah. Uh, that mm, one look. Nah. That no. one look the most valuable. So I'm gonna keep that one. But the uh, like the other sorted symbols, I'll just hand over to. Ferris. And. 
Mm. And the wand girl. as well, I'll just... I'll have, I mean... Oh, actually, the wand I'll give to Elias. Okay. okay. Which... Is this for me, or do you want me to I mean, inspect it? I ain't got any use for it. You can have it. I mean, it might do something something one of the others likes, but it's not, it's not my wheelhouse. Sure. Did you find anything else of interest? Mm, some, you know, religious knickknacks. Again, not I'd really. I'd like to take a look at those. I can uh, identify the wand. I'm sure that Faerus can identify any religious iconography. Well, if you're identifying don't forget, things. Don't forget to collect your bear traps. Already so... did. Which do I rec which ones do I recognize? Uh, I mean, uh, there's religious symbols there, basically for any like the the very like common uh, gods, they, uh, gods and goddesses. Uh, there's a couple of Saren Ray ones uh, as well that you obviously that immediately like jumps to you. But other than that, just very common, well known deities. Yes. Not, not not much special there. Are there any for the traveler? Can I? No. <laughs> Fuck. Can I can I put take the Saren Ray ones and try and thread them onto mine and make like a charm necklace sure, instead of yeah. just my one? <laughs> you'll have That's to real you know, wipe off cool. the gamer gunk. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little wipe, but yeah, you'll be right. All right I'm gonna I'm brains oh, of the I'm last keep, Saren Ray worshiper. I'm gonna keep the rest in my backpack because you never know when we need to pull them out and pretend we're worshippers of insert god here. But I'll, I'll, the Saren Ray ones I'll just add to my necklace. Okay, slyly. The amulet that's cold to the touch. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to pass that to Elias and say, if you're identifying things, take a look at that as well. It feels a bit. Feels you a bit... make it clear that it's sly. Like, are you, like, purposely. Yes. Like, hush hush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Do you want me to identify this one now in front of these two, or hmm. you want me to do it later and message you? Uh, we're all. You know, People. finders, keepers, all that nonsense, right? Uh, yeah, might as well. I mean, I'm not paying we'll attention at all. Cast Identify okay. on the amulet first. The amulet, um... It's not magical, but still it feels very cold to the touch. And it's, it strikes you as odd. Are you a religious type? Uh, I'm not, but I am... I... I have in intelligence uh i i'm not proficient but i have a plus four to religion so i know of it and okay. i'm i have proficiency in that kind well, of you history. recognize the symbol which is just like kind of kind of like a pentagram but fully made out of like iron chains could i make a history check on it instead of religion sure sure yeah because you're very smart all that uh, 19 19 uh do you recognize this to be the symbol of Thera's doom the chained oblivion um the mad deity of death and trickery. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I recognize what this is. Do I know much about Thor's Dune? You just I, know I... that he's some crazy god of death. He's a baddie. He must really like speaking it. Something, um... something in the abyss. Something, something not good. Okay, I don't know. Uh, would I know that this I has... If I, um, uh, This might be... I might be wrong here. But uh, if I... Isn't it... <sighs> Did Thera's Dune have something to do? Is Thera's Dune after uh, the Betrayer Gods and shit, or you he know? was one of? Isn't he one of the Betrayer you know? Gods? I mean, I, this is like out of character. I think he might have yeah. been, but I don't know in character. Out of character, like from critical, yeah, he's, he's like sure. the the ultimate Bad Betrayer news. God. That's what he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean. Are you a known follower of evil inclined beings that wish for the not. destruction of our world? I mean, well, then I would suggest that we probably don't maybe touch we this. Leave that one here. Yeah, I yep, don't <laughs> like that. I'm, I, I'll, I'll, I, I don't. Um... It's not magical in any way that I can tell, but it is right. not a. There is some aura to it that I just like, and I'm not an overtly religious individual, but. I very no, much dislike I, this. I'm not doing assume, that anywhere on me, and I'll. Like, I, I assume that Ferris would probably throw it at you. So, while they're having I'll, this uh, chat, I just scream back from the lizards. The lizards get a cold. Last, last <laughs> chance. Well, me and me and Rev just nomming. Are you identifying <laughs> the wand as well? Uh, before I identify the wand, I'm going to cast Unseen Seven. Okay. I'm going to instruct my Unseen Seven 
to collect any dry firewood it can, begin a fire, and then warm the lizard through, I guess, if it's gone cold at this point. Yeah, you, uh, uh, under the uh, under the like ribcage, there's a bit of a dry patch where you can like, kind of sit, and that's, that's also why the lizard folk were sitting there, because it's the only like real dry patch that's bigger than a few feet uh, in the near vicinity. Cool. So I'll have my unseen servant doing all mm -hmm. that shit. As long as it's not concentration. No, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. So then I identify the wand. Um, you identify the wand. And this uh, wand is a wand of magic detection. Interesting. Uh, it comes oh. with three charges um, while holding the wand. You can expend the charge to cast Detect Magic. And it regains 1d3 charges daily at dawn. Okay. Um... And I will explain that to the group. Um, I'm going to take the, the amulet back. And, uh... Pray to it. Oh. Alone, pray to it. <laughs> no. But with the help of the, the hobgoblin, I want to basically mm -hmm. put bear traps mm -hmm. in a rough perimeter. Okay. Around the rib cage, because obviously this place is important to the lizard folk. You have and like I'm gonna... five, right? Yes, five. And I'm gonna go a little further out, and I'm just going to kind of dig a small hole and just put the amulet in it and cover it over and and, and bury it in like the gross swamp okay. dirt. <clears throat> okay, so um, I suggest uh. We, we, we take some we get some sleep here after we're all done eating um we should probably have someone awake uh, to, to keep watch at all times um I'll keep watch take, last I'll take second watch then okay I'm a morning person so I'll go last okay. all right I'll go somewhere in the middle then um um yeah that's fine um just um you get we'll, some we'll, rest we'll, we'll go to bed early because uh, we, we want to leave as early as possible, sunlight to burn and, and whatnot. Yeah, I don't um, want those lizard folk coming back. Does I anyone, while I've identified this, does anyone want this wand of magic detection? I believe it's something that I will have access to uh, if I choose to. Point. It seems best suited to you. I mean, I haven't learned this. I, you I don't haven't know learned the this... spell, but if I find a scroll for it, I can learn it. Right, but for now, you've got access to it. That's fair. Okay, sure, I'll hold on to it. I just wanted to offer it out there to everyone. The interest of... Cooperation? Jolly cooperation. The, the spirit of sharing. Right, bedtime. All right. I am going to go sleep in one of the huts Fair with enough. the human skulls and the stone bed. Uh, so who had hey. first watch? Me, Rav. Lady, a perception Rav lady. lady. Do, do, do. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So close to a nat twenty. Uh, you hear surrounding the. Um, the boneyard, you hear some like hissing similar to the crocodiles you heard earlier in the day, so you reckon that's probably it, but you're good where you are now because you're on you're far away enough and they just kind of like hiss and they they kind of like you hear them one of them just like slam his mouth shut in the in the water, seemingly you know, found some kind of prey and, and tried to catch it. And eventually the the sound uh, travels farther away, and you, you reckon now they passed. And that is your watch over. Other than that, not much happens. Um, so, who got second watch again? Me. Elias. Okay, so you wake up, uh, Elias. Yeah, go sleep. Yeah. Elias, perception check, please. I will... Can my familiar assist me with this? Because I will bring my familiar out anyway. Sorry? Can my uh, find familiar familiar assist me in a, perce in a perception check? I don't think so. I'm gonna check. Don't think so. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, 
Do do do. It says it can take actions. I assume it can take. I guess it can take the help action. Yeah. Sure. I don't play wizards with familiars very often. Uh, also, ferrets don't have a stat block, so I'm using a weasel as long as you're okay with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Ferret. Close, close enough. Uh, I'll take the first roll. Uh, perception. Mm -hmm. uh, day 20. You notice, um, coming from uh, a, the southwest, um, a, f a swarm of ravens flying overhead. Coming from a southwestern direction, flying overhead, tra traveling east northeast ish. Okay. So uh, I will send. Um. Huh. Huh. Uh, do I really want to? Hello. The noises of contemplation. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to send a hurry on the ferret out in that direction where the ravens are flying from. Okay. Um. Something's uh, gonna eat the ferret. Quite possibly. I bet. Me. I bet you right now. Uh, I will. I'll I, I'll sit there in a trance-like state, watching through its eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, every about five minutes or so, I'll snap back out for thirty seconds, just to make sure the camp isn't getting stabbed in their sleep. <laughs> how far can snap you? Can, how far can the ferret travel from you while you keep the screenshot? Uh, I can't communicate with it past a hundred feet, but I'm pretty sure it can travel as long as it wants. To, and uh. While you can familiar is with it is within a hundred feet of you, you can communicate with it telepathically. Okay. Additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn. Uh during this time you're deaf and blind. It doesn't specify there's a range on uh seeing through the familiar's eyes and I don't know, because it's said I don't know, like the way like it's like, oh within the hundred feet you can communicate with it and additionally that other thing. Right, that's what it sounds like to me. I don't yeah. know. Uh, it's, it's just fucking D&D wording being... D&D wording, uh... Um... But it's not, you can, no, you can, you can look through their eyes, uh, very far. Um... You just can't communicate with it. Okay. It, it's not clear at all in the spell. No, I, I'm i no. pretty sure that's the way I've seen people use it, but I've it's a ruling. It's a table ruling. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So where are you um, sending him? Like, you're sending him towards where the ravens came towards from? Towards where the ravens came from. And uh, if there is anything of immediate danger, I'm just going to bamf him away. I mean, uh, you, you, you're... The 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 the, the uh, ferret, the ferret goes. Nothing, really, like nothing interesting. Just murky water okay. and swamp sounds. There's no big fucking horrifying monster scaring birds out there. No. Okay, cool. Uh, then I will. Uh, about halfway through my watch, I will sit and go through my pockets and make sure that I have everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that there's nothing to note, and then if everything is as it should be, I will sit through the rest of my watch. Okay. Uh, and eventually you go to wake up. Uh, who had last watch? Oh, well, uh, I guess it, me you were taking both. third watch, and then yeah, uh, yeah I just yeah. said I take. Ferris was last. taking last. Okay, well, third yeah. would be last, so I guess. If you... Oh well, then. Oh, we don't. I thought and we were doing like two-hour like... watches. Um, we can take it together. I have. Or we could do that, yeah. Plans. We both do it. Up to y'all. Let's yep. both do it. Cause my so perception is shit, so that's probably okay. a good thing. <laughs> so you both wake up for your uh, final watch. Uh, perception checks, please. Big money. My perception checks. Are oh, and then I actually roll high. So and I roll low. <laughs> I rolled a sixteen. I got a seven. Nothing of interest. 
But what I would like to do is I would like to have a little look around for any um, okay. flora that might be useful for poison. Um, I could probably make, help with that. I'm make a nature trying. check. Fat plus zero, so. Natural can I assist? 20. Natural oh, fucking sure 20. Shit. Uh, you kind of like... Look around. You can't even see it. You it's can't even see it because my game is a natural 20. Look at the, the variety of plants and such, and you don't get the sense that anything here is, is quite uh, poisonous uh, at that. Oh, that's cruel. Yeah. Sorry, man. I mean... No, it's okay. All right, well, without finding anything, I will uh, r return. Uh, and your watch, I mean, yeah, your watch goes by, nothing of interest, and uh, as you uh, go back to get a couple more hours of shut-eye, um, Morgan wakes up and kind of right before uh, before sunrise and packs packs up his belongings and just kind of waits and sits there and waits for you as a group to awaken and get ready to, to leave. All right, well, with Morgan's assistance, sit. I'll pack oh, up the five bear traps. Mm -hmm. Aharion is going to sit the entire time that Morgan's there and just watch. Assuming the bear traps are untriggered. No, they weren't. Oh yeah, overnight. <laughs> so, this good, good them all rest, up. everyone. That was alright. Yeah. I mean, as good as it can be, sleeping on the ground. Watch is all good. So, um, on the for pool. our next um leg of the trip, um, we have a choice. Um, go home or keep well, going. Okay. We have to go west, but we can't go straight west. So we either go southwest or northwest and kind of go around the blockade of, of thick water that would be up to my forehead. Um, southwest, we come by that, that tower that, that we've t spoken about before. Northwest, um, a, a cave that is uh, inhabited by bullywugs who can be a little territorial. Um, so I'll right, leave the choice with folk. you. Would you like to try and go past the tower and hope to God we don't get eaten by giant spiders or bullywugs? What I walk you... through the tower every time. I heard there's treasure and I'm dying to get my hands on some. The crows. But I saw my watch. Ravens, yes. Ravens, sorry. Uh, which way were they flying again? East by northeast. From from southwest. I will relate to the group. I'm not sure if it's an, an omen or anything, but there was a large number of ravens flying from the southwest. Ravens? The ravens native to this area? Hmm. Could be messenger ravens from. They were flying from, to from, the from, southwest. From the fort. From, fort from the southwest. They flew essentially over us from the southwest. Could be. Also, oh, they were leaving the tower, could or be, the direction the tower. Could be. <coughs> could be. Uh, Morgan, Morgan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to speak up, but uh, it's no swallow hard. that lizard after um, you've chewed it. My God. The Empire uses ravens as forms of communication. Do they? Yes. I wouldn't know. I do. That's why I'm saying. So. Uh. <laughs> Did you see a, a, a swarm, a flock? I believe I mean, technically I they're see? actually called a murder. That's oh, that crows? Crows. That's Ravens, crows. It's, there'll it's be a an murder kindness soon. or a conspiracy. Right. right. Conspiracy so, of ravens. How many I ravens did I see a roughly? A, a, a bunch. Yeah, a lot, a good amount. A healthy uh, amount. With would I, would I know? My, with my background, would I recognize? Would I be able to mess recognize if they were messenger ravens or with just my background? Would I be able to recognize if they were messenger? If they would send a swarm to deliver a message? I was gonna say that's a lot. Uh, Elias, because of your background in particular. Nerd. You kind of have to know <laughs> all these things because yeah. it's kind of what you do. Um, the idea uh, is da -da, instead of just sending one da -da. raven with with letters, send a bunch so that uh, basically 
it can't be shot down or whatever. That and one raven is suspicious. A whole group of them is like, oh, whatever. I mean, um, okay. Uh, then I will look at the group. <clears throat> Never mind oh, me. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm entirely sure that it was a natural swarm. I, I feel like I would recognize messenger ravens. Um, but we, I have good feelings about going southwest. I mean, if ah. it's there's spiders there, it might have just been the ravens fleeing from trying not to be spider lunch. And that's, you know, we're, we already know that's a thing. I'm gonna... I mean, whether it's messenger ravens or not, I'm, what difference does it make? It's not like I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it. pointedly at, at Morgid. And then look at uh, Ludwig. I have good feelings about going southwest. Okay, sounds. Like... Southwest by the tower. Yes, that's yes. Tower. Mm -hmm. and then so do I. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Then right. onwards. Um, just uh, be on the lookout for big, you know, eight-legged, crawly things. I'm sure most of us will be fine. It's only you two that would fit in the mouth of a giant a spider. Giant spider. Are you forgetting about the frog? But frogs are reasonable size. It's a human sized frog. How tall, how, how tall how tall how tall is uh Ravamon? I am two foot and a oh. half. Oh right. Yeah, like but a she's a frog. <laughs> I'm not I... sure spiders eat frogs. Well frogs eat the spider all might crawl But so will the frog. Okay. Nah, I'll just we'll eat him later. Fine. We'll While we're fine. walking, are we all acceptable of going southwest? Yep, let's go. Hi. Cool. While we're walking, you mentioned, Ravamon, that you were a half elf before. Halfling. 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 Elias. Half something. Do you remember where you were? You know, where you were born? Where you grew up? Do you remember oh. much before? Oh, interesting. Kind More notes in journal. Kind of like, you know, when you like remember a dream. And then a week later, you you can't really remember it anymore. My That's dreams tend to be quite vivid and distinct, so no. But you know, that's I don't have dreams, you know. Key, right? Did you know actually everyone has dreams? It's just most people can't remember them. And I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't dream. Prove it. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. it, 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 that's what everyone says, but it's not true. I it's don't dream. You... Head empty, no saying. dream. What about you, Ferris? Where it? Where do you hail from? I feel like we've never really got this that's, personal. It's a good question. That Laura didn't actually write an answer. To <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll have to get back to you. Were, were you born in in Alexandria? I mean, it's where, wherever Dragonborn are more likely to be. I I feel like that's the 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 dynasty and not the empire. Just uh, the Dragonborn more. Race. I don't know. Tell Dory. I believe. actually yeah. So they're probably more likely. Empire. Or yeah, maybe I'm just from Taldore. I, I would think it would be more like. Let's just say oh. I'm from Draconia because that's easy. And I just Perfect. Remember, You're from Draconia. So, from Draconia. <laughs> so from. what made you travel to Wildmouth? Uh, well, I mean, you know how I mentioned before that I'm bad with the some of the more advanced magics. You know, like mm -hmm. healing magic. Good, nailed it. Did did very well on those classes. Uh, while. Um, learning about and devoting myself to Saren, right? But the the advanced magic, like offensive magic and more convoluted, I just I, I struggled a bit, and and then that with the whole social awkward thing, I just uh, the the temple I trained at in Draconia, they were just very anti the whole you'll never be able to make it out in the field you should stay in the temple just heal you know heal the the poor and the sick that come in and like that's what you're gonna do but i just heard about so many other uh, people that do what i do and go out and still heal people and teach the word of sarah and ray but do it while having great adventures and seeing the world and i'm like that's what i wanted to do and they told me i couldn't do it so i left without permission to prove that I can do it. And I was like, what more foreign place to prove that I, where I don't know things and prove I can hold my own than an entirely new kingdom. So you, I came have here. Have you been in Wild Mountain Mall? Uh, no, just like a Before few months. This. No, just a few months. So you wouldn't consider yourself to have any real 
loyalties between this conflict then? I mean, my my loyalty as a, a cleric of Saren, right, is just to those who need help, you know? The... just... just people. I mean... Grong Lady, former halfling, I'm assuming you were born somewhere in the Dwendalian Empire. Not that you remember, but... After the, the wrong bitch. Hmm? What's with the interrogation? We've traveled a while, but we've never really dabbled in where everyone comes from. Um, Want to know where I'm from? Sure. Here. Here. I nice. wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> How uh, far well, does tortoises go in a day? Um, a mile a day. Do they just go in a circle, or did you come from elsewhere? Yeah. Do they do they go all over? Stay yeah. in the, swamp? The, the, the 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 village or the town moves around in the same marsh. So constantly, it constantly laps it's about a mile a day um so i reckon three day trip three day so when we get back um it'll be six miles more westward than than it was when we left so technically the trip back will be shorter so it's closer oh that's good oh that's yeah. nice isn't that yeah. nice less distance to like walk six hours. On way back <laughs> with our numerous plunders yes exactly it's like sailing with the wind um, in your back i don't know how interested you are in this conflict, Morgan, given that well, your settlement seems to be very, uh, uh, yeah, the thing is, neutral. as, you know, our town, goblins, orcs, ogres, not quite an accepted, very much per se, kind of people in many, you know, normal circumstances, so Dynasty no, Empire both sounds like bad news to me, to be honest. Mm. That's fair, especially but then I'm sure that you can resonate with how I feel in Shuhas at times, as a human. It's all a shithole, to be fair. That Swamp in the middle of nowhere very is a true. good enough place for folks like you to settle just... down. Mm. Which is why this fort business is... Uh... Little, little scary. It's, it's they're getting, they're getting closer and closer, and we just want to be left alone, to be honest. How um, new is the fort? Has it? I guess it hasn't always been there. Uh, well, then. the fort's been there for a while, um, for for a few years, but at most, you know, uh, a handful of people there. But uh, over the last weeks, especially, uh, oh. a lot of soldiers. In comparison, and now with, oh, okay. with 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 our lord's advisor gone missing. Uh, it's becoming a bit of an issue. Yeah. Mr. DM. Hello. Do I believe, Morgan, that he himself is neutral in this conflict? Make an insight check. Dun, dun, dun. Um, of course you do. Mm -hmm. This guy's the most trustworthy person I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why, why, insight 14. Uh, yeah, you get the sense that they're telling the truth. Okay. Why does a bunch of orcs who live on turtles need a side? I don't know. Mm. No I one mean... likes it. Much. Orcs, are, <laughs> orcs are more accepted in the in the dynasty than they are in the empire. Like it's not a I great shake, but yeah, but it's it's a, it's a, it's like a, a melting pot of orcs, goblins, hobgoblins, mm. like ogres, like all all these races that aren't particularly you know. It's like the difference between common. living in a mostly racially tolerant dictatorship where things can be shitty, but they're mostly racially tolerant mm -hmm. or you go to the empire where there's a lot less racial tolerance but the general populace not seems human to... or dwarf we don't like you uh, however the it, landscape you know, is is not trying to kill you yeah. as you sleep yeah so <clears throat> it's good to know what their allegiance is all right anyway um, you guys travel for uh let me quickly look at the map uh, one two three, three days or five tower uh, six miles, so six hours, because you travel a mile an hour uh, in the difficult terrain uh, settings. Setting. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll be a couple hours into the afternoon when you reach um, the crumbling tower, Heck which um, these dilapidated ruins of a pre-calamity watchtower are slowly Ooh. sinking into the swamp at this location. A squat, square, three-story tower juts up out of the water ahead. 
Its crumbling stones sag with age, and half of the time worn building's first floor has already been submerged by submerged sub, <laughs> subsumed by the murky marsh. Shadowy openings mark the locations of an arched doorway at ground level and several small windows on the upper floors. While we're walking. Mm-hmm. I wasn't entirely honest with you, well, I apologize. I wanted to make sure that nobody was going to be overly against this idea. I, I think the Ravens might have been indicative of a, an Empire presence this way. That's why I thought it would be best to come this way. But I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to attack them on site. Apparently, huh? we only attack lizards on site. We, we let well, the other it three depends. Live, but... If the Empire has our Lord's advisor, we attack, right? right? We. If the Lord. Empire have yeah, our Lord's, your Lord's uh, advisor, I can make it work. But. I'm human. They're more likely to talk to me and Ludwig and. Whereas, I'm sure if he'd sent people from Urzil? Urzil? Urzin? Urzin? They probably would have been met with much more hostility. I... Um, I just didn't want to walk in there with you if I wasn't sure that you weren't going to summon a Kryn army. Okay. If I could, I mean, I... Work. Still have to bring her back. I mean, if he doesn't want is the treasure. I'm well, that's all he's interested in. Probably. I just wanted to put it out there. I could have kept that secret, and I doubt it would have ever come out to light. But um, well, I mean, if you want to, to take the, take your time and explore inside, we could. Do Maybe we, we should. Any spiders. Any any pins are clicking, or do we uh, as you hear approach uh, crawling? the lowest floor, which has already been half half like submerged uh, under five feet of bog water? Mm. Um, five feet, the lowest floor is a thirty foot wide square, uh, which because it's like filled with bog water, creates a bit of a claustrophobic crawl space of muck and mire. Uh, the ceilings yeah. of the tower are, are ten feet high. Mm -hmm. uh, and all of his doors and windows have, have long since rotten off. Um, as you enter the bottom floor, don't see any spiders. What you do see is a narrow stone staircase wrapping around uh, a, an inner wall, with spider webs clinging to every dry corner of that staircase. Oh. More good. Uh. All right, so more good. <clears throat> Touch. Hello. More good. More good. Ah. How far are we from where we aim to be to search for this advisor? Oh, about a day and a half. Do we want to search this place now, or do we want to maybe search it on the way back? I don't want to search it at all. I know Wait, you don't. I'm, your quite opinion is irrelevant right now. Reconnaissance? But... Okay. No. Maybe I'm sorry, it would help that to... came across overly harsh. I no, apologize. It's fine. Maybe it would help to set the webbing on fire before we go there. Well, I, before I've we do seen... any of that. I've seen you be handy with the fire. So, you can see the uh, web is only on the, on the dry parts. So I'm thinking yeah. maybe if we send Rav in the water on the bottom floor and just have a little yeah. look around, see if there's anything in I there. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking that if the Empire does have this advisor, that it's feasible that they would potentially either move or worse. I mean, we're not going to search this place top to bottom while we're on the clock. I'm just saying we could have a little look on the bottom floor where there's no danger. I would see if there's anything worth knowing. Okay. That's what the group wants to do, I guess. Um, Maybe there's a the... basement that's flooded that. or something. Okay, we'll have a look. Uh, if okay, you're not right. back you within a, a couple of uh, minutes. Bottom floor, nothing of interest. No basement, no nothing. Hmm. <sighs> What did you see down there? Back off. Back off. That, not what I was hoping for. So, how, how, okay. Mm -hmm. Relative to the thickness of a normal-sized spider's web, 
How thick <laughs> does this web look? Um, like fucking steel wire. It, it's uh, I mean, it's it's thick. Is it Ooh. like shelob or? Um, <laughs> not quite that, but it's definitely like you put your hand on it. You have to you you have to use some force to pull it back off. I mean, I'm not gonna touch it. I know a spider's no, like, look. Yeah. I would 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 we like me to send a Haron further in? Simply have a three-minute look, and if it looks incredibly sketchy or incredible valuable, we make a decision based on that. How well can he scale the wall? Maybe he's better to go to the outside, look in a window or something like that. The first floor window isn't that high up because it's sunk. No, correct. We, we, we've been around, but I mean, the most interesting shit is going to be way up, and that's where the spider web starts. Well, there was a, a staircase. I have a right, but the webs are on the inside. But the Next. He's a ferret. He can avoid most of the webs, I'm sure. I'm just saying that he, maybe he could just scale the wall up on the outside. I was planning to just throw him through the window into the next floor above us, but... Uh, well, I wouldn't throw him, because you never know. Yeah, he plops down into a web, you know, wobbles something, alerts something, I don't know. I can make him disappear. All right, oh. send him in. I don't care how you do it. Hold I'm up, dying, I know. hold up, I mm. lied. Oh? I Probably lied. you see something on the floor. You do see oh. something on the floor, Revmorn. Ooh, what do I see? You I see, see a, a uh, locked wooden chest kind of half We've buried between slimy swamp muck. I, oh. uh, like, for some reason, it, 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 like, makes it clear in the initial text that bottom floor empty, and then when I go to the treasure uh, section, it says, oh, Bottom floor, this. Like, huh? You said it was empty. You lied. Mm, so I should okay. go ahead. So you find a, a, a locked wooden chest. Can I go and try and like open it with one of my daggers? Um. Uh, yeah, you can try. Yeah, yeah I want to do that. Uh, Rogue lady seems like she's hench. Make a dexterity check. Okay. Come on, real good. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. Even though the lock seems pretty like rusted already, you you can't you don't figure you you can't manage to to pry it open with your dagger. Mm. It's oh. it's it's small enough for you to be able to kind of like drag it uh, to your friends if that is something. It's not like a I'm big gonna of use mage hand to just kind of like help me lift it up. Okay. So I don't really have like, to do anything. So you're going to chuckle, brother, to me, to you, but with your mage hand. Yeah, so well, if, I'm just going to basically uh, so when use Ravimorn the mage hand. kind of pokes her head up again b above the water, uh, Ludwig, you see behind her this chest being, like, carried. By nothing. Ooh. By nothing. I suddenly <laughs> had a wonderful idea, Ludwig. Mm. The wand you gave me. Mm -hmm. I attuned to it overnight. Mm. I could... See if there's anything. Mm. Uh, what's mm. the range on detect magic? It is thirty feet. I could see if there's anything magic I'm... within thirty feet. Mm. While he's while he's just kind of talking away, I'm like completely stared at the chest. I'm sizing up the chest and picking <laughs> up my thieves' tools. I'm gonna okay. use detect the magic. I'm gonna use the one of detect magic. Okay. And I'm going to get into this chest. All right. Open. Uh, it's... Which I. Your choice. Do you want to pick it or brute force it? The chest. Pick it. Okay, make a dexterity check. Do you have thief tools? Yeah, and proficiency in them. Okay, yeah, make a make a dexterity check. But yeah, plus, but yeah, with uh, you know, so I dexterity and proficiency modifier because you're yeah, using your yeah, thief tools. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Not good. Eight. Fortunately, don't manage to pick the lock. I kick it. Make a strength check. Oh, are no. any of us strong? I don't think any of us are. Eleven. Is I'm strong. strong? I'm Ferris strong. Is strong. I'm relatively no. strong. It was more a kick out of frustration than anything else. But... Yeah, well, but wouldn't it be I mean, funny I if you like, kick strong enough no. to just break off the lock on accident while you're frustrated? Yeah, with strong. my eight strength. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what were you doing, um, Elias? I'm casting Detect Magic. Is there anything magical either in the chest 
or within 30 feet of us, including vertically. Uh, there is something magical coming from within said chest, yes. Do I... I, I would know the school of magic. Mm. According to detect magic, so... Yeah. Unless... It has... <laughs> yeah, you do. Fucking, unless it's lead line. It's an item, fam. Like, how does that have a school of magic? It just does something cool. What, you know what's what I mean? the enchantment on it? Like, that... What it does, you have to sort of guess the school of magic on it. Do we still have pinned in the group uh, chat that thing you posted for, yeah. like, schools of magic? I think we do. Yeah, it's pinned. The, the eight schools of magic. Duke had the... I think it was Duke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, would ju I would just it think about... It is... Hold, 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 hold. Oh, please be chronomancy. Please. Protect stuff. Make it stuff seem is... like other stuff. Make things do stuff. <laughs> like, descriptions. After this, I want to try to... It's ten now, though, isn't it? Because dunamancy. Yeah. Hold. 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 Hold the door. Hold. Yeah. Hold what? My hands are empty. I'd say this is a jam. Fuck off, dude. I don't know. <laughs> like it does okay. a bit. Of, it, it, um, hold. it does a lot of things. I'm gonna look up this particular spell and just see what school that is, and then yeah, yeah that's the smart way to do it. Yeah. If it's an item of blind necromancy, okay. fuck it. Oh, is it? Fuck yeah. Oh. I want to hack uh, them up with my dagger and just I mean, it. if I see them struggling, I'd be like, I mean, do you want, do you want some help? Nah, with that? May, maybe like let our very strong and <clears throat> mildly intimidating Dragonborn attempt it. However, don't touch anything inside, please. I will absolutely touch everything okay. inside. All right, it I'll might kill you. Make a strength check. Yeah. And just like pull it off with my and get the dragon claws out. I have a plus five. So is let's there see anything how this else goes. magic near us, like above us, Dutch? Five. What's the range? Oh, like, what, what, uh, sad. No. So I guess it'd be the next floor above what us. Did you roll? Nothing there. I rolled a natural okay. one. No. Oh. I'm gonna break a nail. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. You kind of oh, like no. one of your nails kind of like chips and kind of like goes. It breaks off and then it does that thing where it, like you got a little bit of skin oh, goes down and it, it fucking oh, sucks. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I just oh, a bit of like a, an actual like more like dragon. One of, one of your scales kind rolls. of like fell, just like, gets pried off and it hurts like a bitch yeah. and starts bleeding. I have a crowbar. Fuck it. You have a crowbar. Okay. I have a crowbar. Okay. Make a strength check. I'm with just advantage. gonna go. Can I like, give normally... the crowbar to the dragonborn? Oh, sure. Yeah, I was like, normally that goes a lot better. Ow. Yeah, okay. three dishes instead of your claws, okay. you ninny. Okay, if this fine. fails, uh, I'm you gonna make a strength check with advantage. Um, that is an 18. Hey, you put Finally. the crowbar down and just, and the the lock rusted as all hell breaks open. And you open up the chest, and by a uh, lock. you see a large selection of books and scrolls thoroughly destroyed by soiled water. Yep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but excited. You thoroughly also destroyed. see a set of pipes. Carved from what seems to be bones, like pipes. Like, yeah, like music pipes or like like tubing. Uh, it was um, like like plumbing. <laughs> no, like music pipes. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, ready? Are you Dutch? Out of curiosity. Excuse me. How <laughs> oh, girthy your bone pipes? Is this the magical thing? I assume this is the magical thing. Yes. I mean, the the scrolls okay. look like they're not really going to help anyone. The scrolls are worthless. Up, I just the pick scrolls. up a soggy piece of paper as it, like, crumbles. <laughs> so maybe we don't play a little ditty on the pipes, then. I have no How about I identify anyway. it? How about we pick up the chest and don't touch the item, carry it outside, I'll identify it, and if anything happens and my eyes turn black or I fall over dead, you can either fix me Kill later you? or... If I start biting, then yes. yes. Unless it's... Um, I'm not gonna finish that statement. I wonder if penning you into frog would stop the effect. It would stop me from biting. Good for later. So you identify the pipes? Yes. These are pipes of haunting. Mm, okay. The first cool. thing you deduce is that cool. you have to be proficient in with wind instruments to even be able to use them to its full to, to its potential. Where's Gen? Um, 
but, but in you a different would world. Get that if you were to be someone able to use these pipes, um, they come with three charges, and you can uh, play the pipes, expand the charge to create an eerie spellbinding tune, which means that each creature within 30 feet of you that hears it um, has a chance of becoming frightened of you for a minute. Okay. Can any of you play uh, wind instruments? Why? No. Just yes or no? Any of you? No. Yeah. You can? Are you proficient in... Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. I will what explain it? what it does to her. Pipes of haunting. So yeah, basically, uh, three charges. You can use an action to expand the charge. And any creature within 30 feet of you needs to make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. And, I'm scared uh, of the frog. If you, if you wish, all creatures in the area that aren't hostile towards you can automatically succeed on the saving throw, so they don't get affected. So your allies just auto succeed. Yeah. So yeah, we are a scary frog. Yeah, you are. Never thought this game would be death down. frog. <laughs> death frog. Well, there you go. Well, I suppose that's some treasure for the time being. So <laughs> just and the wood. So we're, we're out. We can we can leave. That's what you're. We saying. might yeah. come back, but for now we're out. There's nothing magic on the floor. Good, no spiders. Ludwig, if that makes you more comfortable. Um. All right. Well, let's carry on, I suppose. And I uh, think we might call it here because we're about halfway through. And then we can finish That's only up. halfway. Shit. No, we're not. Let's play more. We can finish this up uh, uh, next week. With everybody. Week, right? On yeah. Saturday. On Saturday? Next Saturday? On Saturday. Oh, let's play more. <laughs> I missed this. Let's just keep going. Same, but we're about Forever. halfway through and, uh, you know, we got bedtimes, right? Sort of. But, with that said... I mean, it's, um, it's only 5.45 p.m. for me. Technically... <laughs> Go only, to it's bed. only quarter it, uh, to eleven. It has been a me. pleasure and a blast playing D&D with y'all again. I'm excited to Ooh, you know, bring this I'm, back on a weekly basis. It's been it's been fun. Really I'm, I'm really enjoying so this fun. Uh, this this one this adventure so far. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's dope. I feel like I derailed everyone with like character shit. Yeah, I mean, you made such like an elaborate fucking like background for for a character you're gonna use. Like, it's not times. elaborate at all. It's simply <laughs> this is my background. And it makes sense that my character would need to know this shit. Because we're in a political... The world is in a political yeah, yeah, yeah. conflict. We are we are in... No, no, I'm no, a I'm CIA gonna, agent I'm gonna, I'm gonna in Afghanistan. Like, like, it's not good for me here. But, um, yeah. We're going to pick this up next Saturday over here. Uh, this will be up on the YouTube in a few in a few days. Um, Heck yeah. Probably Wednesday. Probably Wednesday. That is here. I'm going to say from... Wednesday. It's my deadline. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. DM you. you guys are awesome. It's been good to be back. Next week, hopefully, we'll have the entire gang back together. It's so, so good to be back. Yeah, and yeah. it will be Saturday next week. So make sure you're here. If you want to see the character art reveal at the yes. beginning, you got to be here at the beginning. Yes, sir. It'll be on right. the Reddit and stuff after, but you yes, want to see will, it live uh, in chat. Obviously, with the yes, we're going to reveal no. another piece of character art uh, next week week uh, i'll put the uh, f like all the artwork that i have of the first character got revealed on the reddit and the twitter uh, right after i go offline yeah. and post your guesses on the twitter and the reddit who you think oh, the yeah, player who you think, is who do you, who do you think plays the character, character. yeah yeah, yeah. Who do you think cool. the player oh, is? all right thank you so much for hanging out it's, it was a pleasure um we'll be back saturday with uh part two of unwelcome spirit thanks for watching everybody all right take care have a good one Peace out. And the game is going to penalties. Oh, God. <laughs>